We're gonna have to sit. That's it. That's it. Everyone put your hands down. We got it. Don't take this from us. <laughs> Sinking. He only needs the first three, honestly. <laughs> he only needs the first one, honestly. I only need like two, but it's just to make everybody feel involved. And you have the one guy just fucking takes it from everyone. Everyone can't have fun sometimes. <laughs> My favorite part wasn't even Danny's disappointment. It was Chris immediately going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, we have fun here. Let's do it. <clears throat> I quite hate you. I'm glad we shared a brain cell. I hate when you do that. Yeah. That's, that's so weird. Hey, everybody, welcome back to Pokemon. Gotta watch them all. The podcast, we watch all the Pokemon movies. We talk about the things we love, the things we hate, and then we rank them from best to worst, worst to best. And uh, some just stay at the bottom of the list. And no in betweens. No in betweens. Everything, See you everything later, is good. Gen about. Five. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the first. Fully packed table of the people. Big boy podcast. Everybody had to be here for this one. Smash Ultimate a podcast. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody Everyone's here. This is the most ambiguous crossover. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the Avengers. Fuck Smash. Fuck Nicktoons. Brawl Stars. Whoa, too careful. Sorry, my apologies. We're not ready for that. Um, but going around the table, first I have myself. Welcome. Uh, I've got Connor Hobo Monkey himself. Hello. Hi, I'm back. Welcome. Uh, I've got Dante. Hello, I'm also back. Kanai. Hi. <laughs> Chris. The clap, the sing. Okay. And, yeah, I didn't want to stick on the clap thing anyway. <laughs> and John. Hey. So we all had to be here because we wanted to talk about this specific movie, and that specific movie that's been a meme this entire series. <laughs> all together now. Three, two, one. Everybody's it's been really, time. Everyone's been really excited. Oh, for you so real quick. I'm spiked on everything. I got a warning <laughs> here. I got a warning here, and all the lights turned on. Uh, uh, that's gonna be a good sound clip. For you. <laughs> that's that's why you gotta use the sync up. How you set this? Before we get into Dante, how's the divorce? It's uh, it's going pretty well. Okay. Disappear! No, Hoopo won't disappear. <laughs> Braviary, half of the child. the divorce. The spell don't know. This week we are discussing Pokemon Hoopa and the Clash of Ages. Just a, a movie about a bunch of fucking legendary Pokemon <clears throat> duking it out. Um, yeah. It's a pretty good movie, but before we talk about impressions, I have to go to Pokemon.com and read the synopsis that's presented to us children around these parts. It's <laughs> lies! It just says Hoopa. <laughs> I know. Really Hoopa ring! Are I don't want to ask you so This is what I'm saying. This clearly had a big budget, right? Yeah. yeah. This <laughs> movie had a phenomenal budget. I will say that. What about a budget? This movie had to have a big budget. Oh my oh, god, I can only imagine. Clearly they got money. Did you see the cast they had to get for this movie? This is also like one of the perfectly named movies. Like Clash of Ages is a yeah. great name for it. I was waiting for Ash to be like, it's like a Clash of Ages. And then you stand up for an ass and walk yes. out of your room. <laughs> yeah. He does like Clash of Ages and he just looks at you and you hear the soundtrack in the background. <laughs> I watched it's this like, I watched this from my desk at work, so if we were like Clash of Ages, I could have just gone home. Yeah. Like, yeah. And they're like, Danny, where are you going? They're like, they said like the thing. They said the title of the movie. movie. Talk about. Anyway, <laughs> Pokemon.com. The mythical Pokemon Hoopa is the star of the Pokemon the Mo I don't like Argues. this. The Pokemon <laughs> the movie Hoopa and the Clash of Ages. When Ash, Pikachu, and their friends visit a desert city by the sea, they meet the mythical Pokemon Hoopa. I wonder how many times it says the mythical Pokemon Hoopa. Who has the ability to summon things, including people and Pokemon, through its magic rings. After a scary incident, they learn a story about a brave hero who stopped the rampage of a terrifying Pokemon ages ago. Now, the threat that has been bottled up for years is in danger of breaking loose again. Can Ash help his new friend overcome the darkness within? Or will a dangerous secret erupt into a clash of legends? No, it's not a clash of ages! <laughs> what? They didn't want to roll the credits yet! Yeah. the Mandarin so ever had a Pokemon? Hoopa's it, right? If what? What's that? The, the Mandarin. Mandarin. If the Mandarin ever oh, had yeah. a Pokemon, oh, yeah. Hoopa yeah. would be the 
I'm seeing. Oh, like, I don't what, like what, that. Because that would imply his fingers would have to be in the they're rings. Not, they're not. They're not fingers. Any, they're not rings anymore. Right. But I would like, according to like old Mandarin, I just imagine a bunch bracelets. of floating fingers. <laughs> and I, don't, I don't like that. Because they changed it out to bracelets. Yeah, I don't. Know. Oopa. Oopa. Better so, um, rings, Connor, you're Hi. here. What you think of Hoopa? Yo, so it's been a while since I've, I've watched the movies. I had a very bad taste in my mouth after Gen 5. Yeah, the uh, only one you were here for. I, <laughs> man, I don't know how I lucked out to be here for that, but that was probably the best content you were going to get out of me here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I liked it. It was cool. I wanted to be in this one because everyone kept saying it was a kaiju fest, and mm. I love those movies, and so it felt right. Yeah. Um. No, it was it was good. It, it was entertaining enough. I did. I watched it on like 1.5 times speed because, mm. you know, busy <laughs> life. Same hat. Yeah, right? Uh, yeah, right? So it was a little weird, but I knew that going in. Um, no, it's good. Like, I, I actually didn't mind. I don't know how far we're getting into it. Hoopa talks. I didn't mind it because yeah. he had a character. It wasn't Shaman. He was like, fuck you, go here. Turn this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was bad. Neck, yeah. Uh, Hoopa was actually entertaining. Uh, it, it was adorable at times. Um, hey, man. No Brock, so downside, but no green Brock, so upside. <laughs> green Brock. Um, but we have blonde Brock. We have blonde Brock who's not mechanic terrible. Brock. Would that be broccoli? <laughs> yes, green Brock. That's Naruto. Brock. No. Uh, but yeah, oh, no, that's blonde Brock's Brock. Like, space League. I, I, I am Naruto, Dragon Ball. Brock I, I, I just Brock. want to say it was Danny this time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But, but yeah, no, I liked it. It, it was it was a solid Pokemon flick. Nice, nice. John, what about you, sir? Oh, uh, it was good. I think that was pretty badass to see all the legendaries mm. all together. Um, or not together, but see all the it's legendaries. Together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they definitely had budget, and I brought that up earlier, because yeah, yeah. like, after the last couple of movies, they did not look like this at all. Uh. Uh, I like Hoopa a lot. I uh, like the Pokemon itself. I never played with it, because by the time this, came, by the time Hoopa came out, it was like a distribution thing. Yeah, I said that about watching it, I was like, I don't remember. Hoopa coming out. So Hoopa, Volcanion, and yeah. there's a third one. Hoopa, yeah. Volcanion, and... Uh, Magirna, Magirna. Magirna. It's because they just Magirna. randomly Magirna. dropped it. Diancy was right when X and Y That's came out. That's right! Yeah. It was a fucking McDonald's distribution. Because yeah. they gave you the legendary toys. What the fuck? Even yeah. though they made so a huge Those three Pokemon, I constantly forget. When I see them, I'm like, because <gasps> like media doesn't use them, the anime doesn't yeah. use them or anything. So just seeing them movies. here, and I also never saw this one before. Okay. Yeah, this is the first time seeing this one. Yeah, it's the first time seeing this one. It was pretty good. I liked it. And I just wanted to know because you end the last episode. Yeah, you so to to watch. the way it got brought up since the third movie, uh -huh. right? Uh, was it, no, it was all third. Was it, it, was, it was pretty early. It was pretty yeah. early. Was it third? Yeah. In that three to five. So since the third, third one, one, specifically Kanai has been bringing up how excited he is for the Hoopa one, right? And Me saying I'm excited for a movie. He got excited because Kanai got him excited. <laughs> and then both of you were getting excited as well, so I got Ooh, super wow. excited. I was excited for this one <laughs> since the first movie. So I was expecting some <laughs> Dark Ride level. I love that. <laughs> I was expecting his Dark Ride level yeah. movie, um, but it is on my top six. Cool. Not top, ten, not top five, but top six. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you got it. Can I wish you think of Hoopa. Oh, I loved Hoopa. Dude. Yeah. Uh, so like Connor said, I don't. I didn't mind that it talked. Uh, one of the best things about it is it felt like it learned human language versus just being able to let it, like telepathically <laughs> talk because it broke in like it broke. It spoke in broken English. I like that. Uh, I, I prefer that. Yeah. I prefer that with like so it, it, yeah, it feels like it learned how to talk versus just being like me mind talk now. My mind like, say word to your yeah. head. Yeah. Talk like Gilmore. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it's a cat's man. Uh, yeah. But uh, oh, really like Thank you. from the hook <laughs> the at the beginning coming. all the yeah. way to like the conclusion, I I don't remember any loose ends with the movie, and I I, I like that the side characters were important. They had a big impact. I loved that the legendaries so, they used all did something cool as shit. I, I think it. that what made it really easy. I want to make sure I get to Chris and Dante too. Um, there's not much in terms of like. Here's a plot we have to follow. Yeah. It's like the issue yes. is that there's evil Hoopa that affects good Hoopa. Yeah. yeah. Which makes all the legendaries come together and fucking break the timeline. It, it is very much like yeah. Hoopa is the problem. Yeah. yeah. 
Like there's not like it, a, it's not, shit, we got away from this thing that happened and we have to come in time. Yeah, like it's it, very it's much not a, a thousand service. year old prophecy. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's your, it's your typical genie story where you have yeah. a negative genie and then you have your good one and they have to exist together. Except but, they're the same person. Uh, but, yeah. Which the, the, the thing that, that I really liked <laughs> at the beginning was it was just like bigger Hoopa just flexing the yeah. whole time. Oh my God. So <laughs> <it's> legendary. <laughs> so it's legendary. So yeah. It was like... I tried not to like keep over hyping myself, but I kept like kind of like slipping into that. So like I, it was it was well well worth it to me. Yeah. Like to me it was like I didn't over hype. Like I it met my expectations, and I'm so happy it did because that's what I was afraid of that it wasn't. And I was like, yeah. Ugh. well, I guess it'll go at the back. So it <laughs> is like the coolest thing to watch Hoopa. Fucking like because you don't know what this is. It's just like Hoopa Strong, and then it yeah. summons Kyogre and fucking Groudon, and Kyogre and Groudon are like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> so then it summons the rings and fucking fires it back at both of them, and they both fucking collapse. And everybody's like, "Yeah, and, yeah," and you're just like, "Yo, that's so cool." It was but like a wrestling match. These people yeah, watching yeah. these big titans slap each other. It's such around. a cool, un like non context intro to that Pokemon. And then later you get context to why that might not have been as a, as exciting as everybody else thought it was, and it's so cool. But yeah. it, such a good I use. I don't want to cut off everyone's You're good. opinions. Um, I'm not kind of interrupting them more. Um, Go ahead. Um, I'm gonna occasionally turn away because I don't yeah. want the whole thing to be you doing this. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah it's called cheat. Um, yeah. But the continuity. This movie has a lot of continuity to mm -hmm. other movies without saying they're from other yeah. movies. Uh, yeah. And like, if you've watched them, like. I mean, I haven't watched all of them like you guys have, but like I know about a lot of the parts, and it was really cool to be like, oh, that's like it, that follows what they established in this older movie. Mm. Like, there's something, and it's at the end, so I don't want to talk about it yet. Sure. But like, there's something that happens because Palkia and Dialga are there, and it's like, oh shit, that's like the exact same effect from that movie. And then yeah, and like the Arceus involvement and like right. the plates, it's all very, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. There's just good continuity there that isn't. It feels like if they like if they wanted to take that moment to be like, remember when we like made a universe with Gen Four? What if we tried to bring it back? Right. And they started it, and then I don't know what happens with Volcadia. Look, man, they spread like, the Pucho oh, Gen Five. Doing. Gen Six is recovering. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Dante, much like from the games. How'd you like Pucho? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if it's just my environment, but I didn't care for the movie. It's always fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what, what did you like about it? Yeah. Um, like I said, it could just be my environment. It could be the fact that... I, just, I, I also know she just got really just like, the whole time I was talking, I'm like, okay, Dante's got some facts to spit, okay. Uh, there's just, to me, personally, uh, <clears throat> it, there's the, the beginning of this movie feels so weird with its comedy. Like, it just comes out of nowhere, it just happens, and it's like, okay, and then they move on to the next thing, I'm like, it, it moved so quickly. And okay. I was like, okay, that and none of it, none of it you even necessarily up connected. To the title card, we're like on the hoop on battle. Not that, not card. that. That was really cool. You're talking, talking about, like, the, talking about the ash. Yes. Card. Okay. Like, I agree it was that. so, it was so odd and awkward, and it's like to, to me. <laughs> okay. And then once they get started getting to the lore stuff, I was like, okay, now we're calming down a little bit. But then <laughs> there's just there's points and times where like Hoopa has this odd comedy, to, like it's just it comes out of nowhere, and it's just you, it doesn't really feel like it's fitting the gravity of the situation. Like okay. they're being chased by Big Hoopa and then Ash says something and, Ho and Hoopa's just like, oh! Yeah. <laughs> Was that I will, necessary? I, I will say, I think it's funny because I, I agree to a point that like, yes, when Ash and everyone gets involved, it does move very quickly. Mm. But I think it's funny because in this movie, Ash reacts very little to the fact that he's meeting this mythical Pokemon who can defy the laws of space and time. Yeah. Even though in other movies he's seen the legendaries multiple times and every time he sees them he's like, Oh my god, it's a Dialga! It's like, why is this the time you're like, oh yeah, no, 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 I'm okay with this. Oh, cool. I've been through some shit, this is okay. And I'm like, uh, dude, you got four generations in before, <laughs> you saw Dialga three times and every time you're shitting your pants over it. I figured out at this, this point. This is the first time I feel like... I think that's why it's weird though, because now yeah. Ash is like, okay. Yeah, this is the first time, I think even in Zorua, it was, it was a little downplayed, but they still said it, mm. where it was like, oh, you talk? You yeah. don't do that at all with Hoopa. Yeah. They're just like, oh, hey, how's oh, it going? Okay. Right. I'm talking about Hoopa. Cool. We talk at this point. I, I was it. like, why? What is the 
the consistency. Well, chat thoughts out at this What point? is the consistency <laughs> that my mind has been? I, I you know, know what? Connor has a point. Like, <laughs> chat thought exists at this point. A <laughs> talk. And like, a, like I said, it, I, I, maybe it's just me not give. I didn't give the the movie enough chance because there was a point where I dozed off and I had to rewind it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But to me, for me, it, I just I didn't care for it. Like, hmm. it sounds like you guys did. Like, and there, the, uh, we'll we'll talk a little bit, I guess, about plot. But there's a certain point later, and I'm just kind of like, what? But we'll get to it. All right. Interesting, interesting. So I think, um, I think what's nice about movies is that you basically get all these dream battles that yeah we never got. Cause like uh, I like these Pokemon like even though they're the box art legendaries, we actually never saw them go against each other. Right. So we showed up in a movie solo or not as themselves. We had like yeah. the Jirachi Groudon. Yeah. Um, we had Kyogre and Manaphy. Yeah. Really, uh, well, we have Zekrom and Reshiram at the beginning, but not towards the big fight. Um, <laughs> Regigigas. Regigigas, we have. Regigigas is twice in this. I, I love, love Regigigas in this movie, though. Like, the first time we met him, he was like, Reggie. And this Regigigas. time, he's like, Reggie. Oh, well, Reggie. Oh, well, Reggie. Oh, well, Reggie. Oh, well, Reggie. I lost it. I love, I love it. Reggie. I want that. Can I just have a website that plays that? Like, <laughs> Reggie Gigas. Reggie Gigas. Reggie Gigas is great. Oh, that was nice seeing Larios and Larios. Absolutely. Yeah. So I they were like from this again that continuity. Not. I, I, I'm gonna bring up something real quick with that though. Okay. <laughs> if we're gonna be talking about continuity. Latios shouldn't be there. Okay, I put that in the notes. I, won't do that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, fucking Latios and Latios because well, I, I think in the world of Pokemon moment they go through and start showing like clips from the movie. Well, yeah, not the, directly from the movies, but like, Latios should have been making out with Ash. Exactly. Latios yeah. and Latios <laughs> flying through Ultimar, and, and I put in the notes. I'm like, eh, Latios is dead. <laughs> So, can you imagine if he sees us? Like, Claudius, buddy, hey, wait a fucking minute. You're, You're dead. dead. <laughs> so, is your, so is your dad and your mom. You're, You're dead. dead. <laughs> Why are you alive? The only thing that I would even bring up to even counter that point is if, if he's pulling from random spots in space and time, there's exactly. nothing preventing him from, from grabbing from time? before he died. I was pulling from the time the timeline time. because then Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre yeah. wouldn't have been able to be a thing. You're right, because they can only do that with those items. Be because they need to have the stones and they never yeah. had them. You're right. And so, right. So, so, those are, so that's he's pulling from so different, different moments in time. So he pulled an ancient ass Groudon and an ancient ass Kyogre. Kyogre just to flex. <laughs> and just pulled a, what a, a, shi a shiny Rayquaza and yeah. Ash shouldn't know that shiny it's that color. Shiny Rayquaza. <laughs> By the uh, way, they just make it evolve for no reason. Because the, 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 Actually, the, the, I had that initial oh, no, thought, it's and like, <laughs> but this is how it's working. So, okay, I, yeah. I can deal with that. I can work with that. So, to, to bring out how it all gets started, so we, we're in like this old, ancient Egyptian-like village. I don't know specifically, geographically, where it is. Um, but just this big fucking ring opens up, and some big spiky tooth monster's just like, oopa, and just starts. I don't like his arms. Yeah, I like the arms. I, I do. Like his arms. So, I love that everything. I love this. I think if he had, had if he just had two, would be one thing. The fact that he has six Rayman arms <laughs> really freaks me out. I so don't know why. The the whole the, Dante has a point at the very beginning where it, is, yes. it does feel a little disconnected from the rest of the movie. Mm. But the minute Evil Hoopa showed up and he started like fucking grabbing and twisting buildings That's and really shit. Cool. I was like, yo, <laughs> yeah. okay, hold on. I was like, maybe I'm misremembering like how good this movie starts. Sure. Cause I remembered the intro sequence mm -hmm. and the minute he started like grabbing shit and fucking tossing it, I was like, yes, yeah. okay, he this is like dope. He looks like a video game boss. He, it, awesome. yeah, so actually awesome. based on a yokai with six arms. That's a different anime. That has <laughs> all the arms in a different dimension, which is cool because Kind of relates yeah. to this actual Pokemon. Mm -hmm. yeah. So with the <coughs> beginning will, of this movie, I'll also preface all of this by saying Hoopa did nothing wrong. I agree. Ooh. Yeah. Hoopa, Hoopa <laughs> Unbound, different story. No, Hoopa, 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 Hoopa Unbound, Hoopa. even in the I beginning, Hoopa, does, I think Hoopa did nothing Unbound wrong. Is justified by the time we get there. I, He's just granting wishes. To be, he probably robbed somebody. So I'd say that's wrong. Oh, 100 because he pulled that gold from somewhere. Th Homie put a ring in Scrooge McDuck's basement and yeah. just stole all his money can, and can, said, can, "Here's for the bread." Like, but 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 that, that, that wouldn't have happened if the guy was like, but, "Hey, you're gonna have to pay for that." Hey, but uh, but Danny, mm -hmm. uh, Jeff Bezos can go without him. That's fair. Jeff Bezos, he can he can be sitting upon. Yeah. Because I was Eat very because I was very interested in. Who says 
like in the right he should have Alex Burke. I'm like, is he just creating this or is he pulling from yeah. somewhere? And then there's a yeah. scene there, I'm like, he fucking robbed somebody. Yeah. The he pool. fucking robbed somebody with a glass. Oh, I can really use a glass of water. He, oh, water? He sucks it from the pool, yeah, trenches. I'm like, he just fucking robbed somebody. He might have a whole bunch of water with a block just like this. Fucking no six hands. There's some lady with water in her hand and he just. <laughs> yeah. I'm, gonna need, I'm gonna need that water real quick. Yeah, so we kind of already talked about it. Like the Kyogre Hoopa shows up, kind of scares these people. He's like, "Oh, you want a show?" And he goes like, "Ali Hoopa ring, like Ali Hoopa ring." Um, so yeah, he summons Kyogre Were you on. They're fighting him, but he's putting rings up to be like, "Psych, boom, psych, boom," and like after he's doing that, everyone's like, "Okay, all right." And he's like, "I gotta go bigger." And what they, is his move? What is Hoopa's move? I don't know. I, I don't. I've never <laughs> had him, John. And no, it's I just, it's just, just called fuck you. Yeah. I, I used to use Belly a fuck ton because Belly blast. I love what they did with the movie. Because because Hoopa is a playful <laughs> character, and that's Jack what I really like how they accentuated that at the beginning, mm-hmm. where the, where the, where it's kind of like a young like a kid where it's like he's getting the claps, he's getting the attention, <laughs> and he's going to constantly keep keep going and going and going. Eventually, it's gonna get dangerous, and yeah. that's when uh, uh, like all the problems occur. But like they really just honed it on the fact that he's playful and he's just doing it because he's naive. Apart yeah. from the car game, I this is my first time being exposed to him. I knew right. about him. I know yeah. I've seen him save it like Volcano. They showed up in like yeah. art for Oris or Exxon, whichever one. And then yeah. Hoopa's signature down. move is called Hyperspace Fury. Yeah. Jesus he, Christ. He uses that move. That's right. In Japanese, oh, yeah, it's yeah. called Dimensional Rush. That's amazing. That, that's pretty fucking dope. How does that fit in the text box? Uh, it's a dark type theory. move, by the way. What is Hoopa psychic dark? What is Hoopa? So, he's <coughs> he's psychic dark when he's unbound. He's psychic ghost when he's the little dude. Oh, when he, so good fine. How do you control that? Um, the, there, there's, a, there's an the item bottle. in the game. You use like the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the bottle and it'll change his form. Yeah. Oh, so there's there's that part. I don't know if it's the movie he was using, but it's what it looked like to me. When he has Zekrom, uh, Reshiram, and, Z- and yeah, Regigigas, and they're they're using like their fucking biggest, baddest moves, and he's just like, <laughs> mwah, mwah, get it out of here, fucking belly blast through a portal, when fucking Kiro, belly blast through a portal. When Kiro gets summoned, this shit's great. I got fucking chills. I was like, what? Way better. The the minute amount. I won't say minute. The less amount of Kiro we got in this movie was significantly better than we got in Keldeo. Um, That's gotta be. Bit, uh, <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I'm just going back to being belly blasted through portals. No, right. That's gotta be an experience just to be torn from your reality oh, yeah. into and another fucked reality. Up. And just then you fucked up to go back to your reality. That's not the whole reason that like, Jerry you know, was fighting because he got pulled from his reality. Yeah. That'd, be, yeah. that'd yeah. be so fucking funny though, just to like, to like hit the ground, look around, and be like, did I just fucking wake up? What the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, Hoop's I'm like, basically a god. What did that happen? Hoop is basically causing this like. Supernatural storm as he's summoning Pokemon from different dimensions, times, all wherever the fuck he's pulling points from. Different in time. Um, and <laughs> homeboy, I don't know if they gave us a name for this ancestor, but they homeboy, did. they did later because the the two protagonists that, that right. are helping Ash they reference him. Right, like it's a I, great, for the great life of me, can't remember. All right, we'll call him uh, Aladdin. So Aladdin pops in. We call him Clarence. I mean, he, he pops in with this cool genie bottle and he's just like, nope, come here and like. Captures Hoopa Unbound, so now like that was a Mufala. <laughs> that was a Mufala. So now he's got like evil Hoopa like trapped. It's like all right, cool. This evil stuff gone, and now we get to the weird like Ash. And I, I personally, I think maybe it's because I went in expecting like we're gonna get to the big fights and stuff. And that's what I cared for. Um, I saw the Ash intro with all his stuff. Just kind of, we got to introduce him somehow. Yeah. Um, I they, they did it the goofy way of being like Hoopa stealing food yeah. in the ring. Yeah. So I I didn't hate that part i just like it was one of those things where i was like i don't feel like i need to watch this and like every now and again i'd be like yeah that's funny yeah uh-huh. that's okay that's, that's how funny. they introduce a lot of the whatever Pikachu. the pokemon of that movie is yeah it's without pokemon getting food from them yeah mm-hmm. and i actually said well what is that or yeah. you know but i think it's also like a, a little <clears throat> more creative because not like i think a shaman is my first go-to when it's like shaman crawled in ate off the table tried to run away the team tried to you know jump them everybody surrounded shaman until <clears throat> it exploded um, this was Hoopa being like, all right, they didn't see me. Here's a tomato berry. And, and no, like, I, I do like that he was mischievous. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how to prop, I, I'm not properly explaining it. Okay. I, I, I might not know how to. It's it's more so the pacing and the tone 
with okay. how they do this. I know I know that they have to do this. Mm. You're talking about like a drastic shift but, in like playfulness and then like seriousness, like I guess, right up against each other. Yeah, it's it's just it's just okay. there there are very quick like yeah. ups and downs when it comes to what's happening in, here in the beginning that it feels very it feels very jerky. Okay. I don't I don't know how else to explain it. I interesting. So th I I was caught off guard with how quickly <laughs> Unbound Hoopa came back. Because it's this like playful intro, it's like Hoopa, 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 like everybody's like getting used to Hoopa. And like as soon as everybody's used to Hoopa, they're like, bottle, bottle, bad Hoopa, bad Hoopa's here, fuck city, oh, put yeah. it back in a bottle. And then it's like, okay, now Hoopa is not okay. And that was very quick, and I was so like, they, holy that's shit. Called, that's called a shock. In yeah. Writing. It's whenever like you have a time constraint or a plot okay. that requires you to 180. Yeah. But this movie doesn't have a plot that requires that. Yeah. Well, so I think our was, last five movies have been like an hour 20, like yeah. just, just yeah. over, and that's including credits. Like These are both 10. like 115. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't think this one felt particularly rushed. Uh, if I didn't, like, I think I got everything I needed out of it. Um, but like, I, I could see the, the pacing argument with, because we get like little snippets of uh ba baraz bazar baraz. baraz yeah uh like going and getting the bottle mm -hmm. and then being controlled by unbound coming back um but then we have hoopa being like hi and he goes ash con ash con, ash -con, ash -con, -con. con. what what's the con bit because he's the only two he does that with what is that something i well i don't con in japanese is whenever like somebody out of respect like, that's k-u-n that's though kun. oh yeah. is that how it's spelled i think it's just k-n and that's oh. typically like to it, somebody it that's was younger. Uh, yeah, it was weird that... I guess technically they are younger than Hoopa. But. Right, but it, it was weird that that was the only two. Yeah, I, I didn't know it if might just be that something. It might be kind of like with Gilmon where he calls to yeah, Kalmon. Yeah, I, th like I think it's name. just like a, like a endearing thing for okay. Hoopa. Yeah, because not like Gilmon does that where he calls to Kalmon. I thought it was... Kalmon, cause I, I think I, it honestly might just be a tactic to be like, he's cute and adorable, or they're cute and adorable and stuff, because it's like, oh, he doesn't get it, so he's gonna call it. It him also might be Ash, like, like Ash Ash it also might be Ash pick, you're getting picked on, like like how like people are like, how do you pronounce your name? And I'm like, Kanai, and they're like, oh, Connie. And then they, they just call me, that, like, it might just be one it of those. It also been scenarios. used to show his intelligence. Yeah. Ash Car, Pecan. Yeah. And they show that he grasps it, but not completely. Yeah. I, I, I just left it as it was a cultural thing. Yeah. I thought it was a cultural thing. So, so, so there's, there's, a, there's a lot of, of yeah. what, what is it, like Arabic or? I, I, uh, uh, yeah. That's it, what it, I it all kind of has that vibe. Of because like even the, the, the even the music kind of, has like that kind of. Oh God! Don't even get me started on that shit. That all it's fucking slaps. Even um, sped up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Hoopa then does the little like I've never seen a a Pikachu before. And then he summons, and then all summons all everyone in the fucking. That was, my fa that was like one of my favorite things ever because I like I like when he started off. With, Which one is yours? Is I, yeah, I like to think that like Ash and Pikachu were like hey, Pikachu and we go pee over there. And while Ash went, this Pikachu got taken away and he's here now <laughs> and made his return. So hey Pikachu. How are you? Know what I mean, like, it's like trick Pikachu. question. They're all yours. They're all Ash's <laughs> Pikachu from like from time they were sleeping. They're all variants. <laughs> I <laughs> love room. it so much because we get the luchador. We get we yes. get the contest Pikachu. Yeah, yeah. I got so happy when oh, I saw those. The yeah. rock star one. Yeah. yeah. When, 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 I, when I saw it, when I saw the Oras Pikachu just like walking, I was like, "There's Pika Libre." I love that little dude. I was waiting to see a few more because I, I like the I expected Sparky, yeah. uh, Richie's Pikachu, Puka. Um, I expected at least like a female with the heart. Maybe we got a heart tail one I didn't see. All the, the, the contents of the, the Pikachu Libre has oh, to be yeah, a female. Right. <laughs> Pikachu Libre yeah. has to be female. I guess yeah. I was expecting a plain yeah. female one. Because one, honestly, if I'm looking at Pikachu with a heart tail that's just regular Pikachu, or if I'm looking at Pika Libre, I'm not looking at the fucking tail. I'm looking at everything else that's like right. Luchador. But I absolutely love that scene and <laughs> Pikachu does the like I talk with thunder again yeah because Pikachu's everybody like, shut the fuck up yeah he's like oh god which one and they're all fucking Pikachu 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 and he's just fucking <laughs> get in the fucking yeah. hole yeah. Yeah. Ash in that moment should have died <laughs> the second all of them struck with lightning can you imagine like Team Rocket how they struggled at Pikachu and seeing this going like this is <laughs> so many Pikachus <laughs> ooh I want the walk style one the same oil the, uh, the walk style one let's bring the luchador uh, one to the boss yeah. <laughs> and then meow goes um, into the scenarios where he narrates it but yeah this is like the quick little like goofy thing to like introduce how hoopa works uh for us and then after they send the pikachus back they bring you know serena everybody else um hey this is hoopa he travels and shit 
Um, he's going to take us to the tower that we talked about going to see and getting the special donuts that we never actually got. Um, and just kind of like putting the pin, here's where the plot's going to go. But then we learn that Hoopa can't go through the portals because the whole unbound thing and like you need to learn why you're a fuck up before you can fix your fuck up. Yeah. It's like Hoopa's whole character growth thing. <laughs> Which, once we get towards the end, I kind of want to... I I feel like I wasn't satisfied with the answer. It didn't like make any sense. One. It, it didn't make, make any sense, sense at all. Because I don't even remember what Hoopa fucking yelled. I'm like, that didn't seem like an answer. I'm going to stay but. here. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Hoopa's here for everyone or something. And I'm like, yeah. okay. Um, how, how does how does how does that reflect on your fuck-up? <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, so this is when Bizarre Brazzers comes in. And it's Brazzers! Just confused <laughs> Brazzers is just like... I got the bottle and just like pops it off like, what the fuck are you doing? And we see Hoop Unbound. We see the building fucking ripped apart. Oh, cool. That was a, I, I will admit with my grievances with this movie, the, the moment where he was pulling freaking buildings, hopefully no one was in them, oh, that's <laughs> so and just that's chucking the people. That kind of earlier when you said he did nothing wrong, I'm like, well. In the beginning of the movie, in the beginning of the movie. Oh, okay. what, what, once once he had the 100 year wrath, yeah, he did a whole bunch of I was, about, I was earlier, I was gonna be like, well. <laughs> There's a dead guy in there, sure. Um, At least. One, yeah. one dude who like, didn't wake up on time. You could, yeah. you, you could argue that all those riches didn't Tomorrow's really need to be... Didn't really need to be the people that they were with. Yeah. I like to imagine someone in the building like didn't wake up to that. He was on the last floor before it got ripped <laughs> off. And he just woke up like, oh, skylight. Like, <laughs> um, dude, that was me. We didn't get wet outside. <laughs> I would have slept through it. Yeah. I, I'm like that. My other favorite thing about is <laughs> looking to, up to, at the broken room and be like, I'll deal with it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> My other favorite thing when it comes to Hoopa and uh, what he does in this movie is he'll just take random blasts. And teleport them to God knows where. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Hopefully so that doesn't block up accidentally somebody. Accidentally murdered. <laughs> uh, shit. Yeah, you just fucking murdered somebody out there. That's, That's fucking so funny good. Um, but yeah, so we have. Team Rocket, then like, ooh, I could steal. I love bottle. that. That that was like the funniest yeah. Team Rocket bit for me in yeah. a long time. Or Meowth's like, oh, that bottle makes Pokemon big and yeah. strong. It could turn me into Mega Meowth. Speaking of which, why was that not G Max Meowth? Right? <laughs> you mean that's a hundred percent better than Long? Do you mean Ultraman? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I thought it was interesting because that the allusions to like, here's something we could do. Those Family Guy cutaway moments. Yeah don't normally happen in the movies. Right. It's always the anime. Yep. And I think it's like the first time we've gotten one where like Meowth's like, I want to be a Wobot. And then we <laughs> see well, it. Well, uh, Gen 7 is when they started including Meowth now. He's like the new Eevee or the new yeah. Charizard where he gets a new form. Where's Let's Go Eat? Let's let's go Meowth. Yeah. I'm a, I'll, we I'll, finally I'll get to play as Team Rocket. Rocket. <clears throat> let's do it. I'm for it. Um, let's go Tokyo Let's children. go Meowth. <laughs> Dude, I always You're wanted, wanted to that bit in games where you get across the Nugget Bridge and then the guys say, do you want to join Team Rocket? Yes or no? It's like, I click yes, like yes. every time. Oh, You're only allowed to use Subat and you're only allowed to use Drowsy. Oh, oh fuck that. Nice. Can they evolve? <laughs> For some reason, for some reason, Rocket never captures like a fucking random Rhydorn over there. So if, they, if, they evolve, evolve, this. if they can evolve, I'll take it. They do. They evolve. Okay. I'm All the way to Golbat, though. I don't know about. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Never mind. Don't Crobat, you, you don't get Crobat unless you're Cyrus. So. That's fine. Not worth it. That, that oh, one person with the Soul Link <laughs> name, I can't remember. I don't remember. He um, stopped showing up. <laughs> um, he'll. he'll blah, blah, blah. Oh, he he, he made some comments. He had a Crobat and he turned away friendship. Yeah, he didn't explain. Okay. Side note. We were talking about Cyrus having a Crobat in Soul Link but didn't specify what he was referring to. He's like, oh, but Cyrus has a crowbat. I'm like, normally, yes, but this is randomized, so he doesn't have the crowbat. Like, but he has a crowbat. I'm like, yeah, normally, but he won't hear. He's like, that's not what my, I'm like, what is your fucking point then? And then he's like, well, because Cyrus says, <clears throat> Cyrus says something about he doesn't believe in friendship. He believes Pokemon and blah, 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 blah. And to get a crowbat, you need to have friendship. I'm like, Shut the fuck up, kid. Let's go back to the game. You guys remember right. Osmosis? <clears throat> Osmosis Joe. I make the joke almost every time. Uh, she's not that old. Um, but yeah, no, so no. Team Rocket, they steal the bottle again, which then like transitions back into Hoopa Unbound, like breaking the bottle, and then the actual like shit, the rest of the movie happens. Uh, which is from this point on is just like, how do we stop Hoopa Unbound from getting Hoopa? So this one was just a giant fan service. Yes, oh, absolutely. That's, that's, yeah, from yeah, that's all this end. movie is. Which is, is yeah. and, and done better, in my opinion, than Genesect. So um, this movie, in terms, I think Genesect is number three, service. but 
This movie was an apology for the <laughs> chain of bad movies that yeah. we got. That's oh, 100%. Hey, you guys survived Gen 5, here's your reward. Yeah. yeah. Hoopa, Hoopa was, it, it's like Endgame, where like, Endgame is like 90% fan service, but it, it they do it in a way that it's like, this is what I wanted all along, yeah. and it's in a story that <laughs> makes some sort of sense, and that's basically what Hoopa is. I could easily have seen this been like, they came up with Hoopa as a concept while coming up with the new Pokemon for Gen 6. Even as the portals. Yeah, and then as they're like, all right, Hoopa does this, it does a thing, it'll be a mythical, blah, blah. And then afterwards, like, <clears throat> you know, we can make a movie where Hoopa just brings them all together. And someone's like, get the scripts, go, 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 go. So they like, shouldn't revisit this plot again mm. because we have a lot of legendaries that yeah. either didn't make the cut or it'll be an interesting matchup. I would have liked to see Yveltal like Like Yveltal, I understand Yvelta. we already had Handbird. Yeah. Like Yveltal and Yunala being in the same, we like, can. End of it, same space based on their lore alone. Yeah. That right there will make me cream my fucking pants. The, the <laughs> legendaries being there at the same time almost ended that section of the earth and you wanted two Handbirds to do the fucking tango. That would have that would have erased time. Yeah. Handbirds can't it fucking can high five. This as a plot to bring the Galorian and the regular ones and watching them do it. Oh, yeah. Right. That would be <laughs> Fucking inject cool. um, that into my Veins. Yeah, so like the, the basically the rest of this movie is like we need to get Hoopa away from Hoopa. Hoopa can find little Hoopa away from Hoopa Unbound. Because they break Hoopa. the bottle, but right. Hoopa so they rejects have the, Unbound. Yeah, they have the pieces Rejection. to build a new bottle, but they have to and then they this is where they start going into like, hey, these two uh guidance characters, like we are we have a relationship with Arceus, it gets kind of religious, but not um, I thought bringing in Arceus was really cool. Yeah, yeah it I was like great. And they didn't really. Arceus kind of kind of pulled a Xerneas of like I showed up at the end just to save the day and you know. Um, Which I, fitting the character, fitting the Pokemon that that's sure, very fitting. It's that's better than him fitting. being like we're in Nemo. <laughs> so I was waiting. Is I was it? waiting. Oh, is it? No, to be sure. To be honest, because that was pretty good. To be honest, I would have loved. I would if if. If, if we were gonna have some continuity with this thing, and like, and Lugia talked, and Arceus talked, I think this would, I would've raised this movie up for me. Yo, they could've done the whole- If Arceus showed up and was like, Nemos, is that you? No, I would've lost my voice. They say no, he knew about the town he just saved. Fuck! So again, you know how we're always joking about the Martha thing? Yeah. The continuity is like, say my ash, and they're like, the same. All of them are like, Ash, Ash, that kid, that kid, yeah, it's like the Earth all turned Ash. All of them were like Ash, Ash, Ash. I, I also like that uh, when they're talking about their necklaces and yeah. they're like, that's Xerneas' <laughs> symbol. The, the only thing I don't like is they're like, it's the same exact shape, and I'm like, okay, hold on. <laughs> yeah. it's, not the, it's the same shape as his like belly piece. It's not, his, yeah. it's not the whole llama. Yeah. So in theory, if somebody does capture Hoopa, they're kind of like the strongest trainer. I don't know because yeah. I imagine Hoopa can use this ability captured. Wasn't that a whole thing in the show or something where like Team Rocket yeah. captured Hoopa and he said, fuck this? And then? And, like, yeah, and then he like teleported a base into the middle of the desert or some shit. There's definitely a clip of a Hoopa being like, hey, this base I'm in? Fuck that! And just drops it in a desert. It's like, oh. Die! I don't know. I'm not familiar with that. I, I swear to God, that's amazing. Going cool. after, after the, the leak? Because I didn't uh, watch after the league and actually didn't win, I stopped watching. I, I thought it transfers into the moon at that point. I think right it, wraps up, it wraps up with the Greninja, you're the guardian of Kalos, help us find the, the, the Zygarde <coughs> shit. And yeah. that, I know you should do more I think you have six episodes to There's something up. to do with some of the stuff in Oris? I think they did Pokemon Generation. They did Journeys. Which was just like Journey Stone, you want uh, Shorts? Like, no, here's no, a five no. minute short. Yeah, Generations. they did. Because they yeah. there was Journeys before current <laughs> Journeys. <laughs> Which Journeys was like snippets from the, you know, different people in anime. Yeah. Um, all the generations were, like, here are the important game moments. Like they had Team Aqua Awakening kind you of You know what? Like that that so. might not have been a clip. I think they referenced it or something <clears throat> in Oris. Okay. I, I definitely feel like there's a reference to being like, yeah, this mysterious Ooh. Pokemon just like moved a base or something. <laughs> I, and I'm like, I love call. the big dick energy uh, off of Hoopa. That's just like, hey man, no. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, like at this point, the kids explain like, "Hey, we can make a bottle, but with you know the power of Arceus, we have this and this, but we need fire, water, ground." And they're like, "We got Frogadier, and we got Brakeson. We don't have a ground type." Fucking Hippopotamus! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Bonnie's just like, "I have an idea," and they just open a ring, and he's like, <clears throat> and just like slips in, Dude, and they're like, that. "I need your help," and he just kind of derps around the rest of the movie until they need him. But I was like, it's great understand. that they understand speech. Yeah, because I would have imagined they would have been like one of the kids, the two like guiding uh, the brother and sister have 
a ground type for plot. Like, now nah, let's just pull it. Great a, a hippopotamus is right from out somewhere. Just have them. I loved it. Um, I loved it. But yeah, so then they basically like split up. It's Ash, Hoop, and Pikachu, the rest of the gang. Like, we're going to go make a bottle. You protect there Hoopa. There are so many good scenes of Unbound Hoopa chasing, too. Yeah. Uh, like, the scene where they duck into the warehouse, and you just see the fucking face. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, face come up, and it's like, that shit's Hoopa. terrifying. Yeah. And it just, like, but, like, back in. So all throughout that, like, Hoopa and Bounds just like, I don't care what's fucking like in my way. Yeah. I just want to find Hoopa. But before they run, they're like, how do we stop this thing? Hoopa's like, I know. Lugia. Yeah. And just Lugia shows up. And like, real talk, Lugia probably could have won this fucking movie if Hoop, Hoopa and Bounds wasn't just like, go home, stop. Yeah. But my like, Lugia was fucking him up. Hoopa, yeah. Hoopa summons a legendary Pokemon and they're just down to fuck with whatever yeah. Hoopa wants. I love that. <laughs> like, so like, does Hoopa have knowledge of these Pokemon? That's why Ash can summon them. He like, has to. He has to have knowledge of what they are. Because he beat their ass 100 years ago. Because <laughs> given the principle, he has to have knowledge that they exist and they have to physically be present so way he has somewhere to pull them from. Because the prime rules, like he has to, he has to have knowledge. Right. right. And Rayquaza is not a Pokemon that a lot of people know about. So that's the most, uh, out of all of the Nelson most impressive one, because uh, That could be smaller. arguable, because <laughs> Brock just knew all of them. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Is that the legendary Pokemon, insert name here? Brock and James Yo, are gods. Is, <laughs> this is why like, like, gyms are like, <laughs> like as, as old as time, so yeah. if going, going, going by that, like it's not out of the question that Hoopa mm. just has this knowledge. Okay, yeah. It's also possible Hoopa, when he was unbound before he got like separated from himself, would just pop in and out of different points in time. Yeah, and that's what I got. That's yeah. what I thought. For me, it's, he had to be able to travel to meet these things because he knows him around. He knows exactly which ones to summon. Yeah, but I want a whole new spinoff of just Hoopa like starting. No, this movie before this he plot, gets to the town. The town. This plot can be copied with the mythicals, mm -hmm. or this plot can just be copied and just do like Hoopa two yeah. with the knowledge that didn't make the, the cut. Thing. It's so easy to do a sequel to this. It's all electric type. <laughs> Zeror. It's just like a bunch of like Zapdos. Sirius. Red, Red, Reggie Lucky. Reggie Lucky. Oh, I hate that. I don't. No, I love it. So, I love it. I, 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 I was a hipster and I talk shit about them. I love them now. They are, okay. Uh, that's a whole different discussion. Way we'll better, say that way, for life sucks. Way Reggie better Lucky. way better than the original three. I I don't care what you say. I the dragon one. Fucking but not amazing. as good as Reggie Gigas is. I, I, I by principle have to not like the dragon one because it's half a Charizard. So <laughs> that makes me mad because true. Charizard's not a dragon. Yeah, <laughs> so, I know he's not. I, but like, no, no, that's why it makes me mad because it's the dragon type <laughs> fucking Reggie, but it has the skull of a not dragon. Yeah, type. It, it's <laughs> game Freak likes to fuck around. Yeah. It's a skull from Mega Charizard X. Mm. It's an ancient. That's it's an why it's the way it's dragon. Is, is it X specific an specific ancient X? Charizard? No. Or Mega Charizard X is Dragonfire. I know that, but yeah. is is the skull specifically? Oh, X uh, or I was just, just, I was just memeing. Okay. Oh yeah, I was just. No, it's just a Charizard. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yeah. So, so I would have been okay with it if it was. We're, we're, into, oh, the, yeah. we're into the Kaiju part of the story, so, right? Right about uh, yeah. 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 I wanna, I wanna see, so since we were talking about real real quick before we go away from that, there was a the moment where like Ash is where Ash gets saved by Lugia. I just love how it was kind of like a callback to 2000 yeah. with like the thanks Lugia like he was like oh look it's Lugia that's like, what I'm saying the entire, the entire movie he's just <laughs> but then like, like in the like anime goes. there's continuity like um, yeah. Ash continues to get more comfortable with Lugia specifically yeah like, go go see Lugia and Ash like oh yeah I see oh, I met him like five times. and I was like because Misty and Brock were there because they they added them in the anime now and they're like oh we've seen Lugia before and I was like. <laughs> Dude, I, just, I would love to see Rho just be like, who are you? No, they could have been referring <laughs> to, you see? they could have been referring you to Lugia from the, the anime. With, with the, the baby. baby. But yeah. the way they said it, they're like, oh, we've seen Lugia before. So I just They've talked about Darkrai too. Yeah. They, they, like, Even with the baby, baby, they still saw a full grown Lugia. Yeah. In that. yeah. And then the picture I showed you guys, I can't remember which legendary it was. But it was Darkrai. Was it Darkrai? Oh. Yeah, it was Dawn and Ash <laughs> talking about Dark, Darkrai, yeah. right? In, in the yeah, in the, the new journey. journey. Yeah. So like, I've seen it a couple movie. of times. They yeah. keep referring back to the movie. It goes like you've seen Darkrai on three separate occasions. Yeah. Like oh, Unless the then they're referring to Tobias's Darkrai, <clears throat> which yeah. I think that is one. Well Donner specifically uh name drops Poke on Yog. Okay. That scene. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, <coughs> since we're still on Lugia real quick, whatever move it's using is amazing. Yeah. I, 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 I put Brave Bird in the notes. That's I, I, I it, looks, it looked dragonish to me, so yeah. like, that's why I got confused. But holy fuck, dude. It's Brave Dragon. 
When it, when it just shows up and just starts fucking slamming into Hoopa, and Hoopa's like, what the fuck? It's like, get the fuck off me! It's like, I am surprised! Yeah. Mom, stop! <laughs> stop. Yeah, when you're hitting your sibling and you go like yeah. this, you're like, yeah. Ash. <laughs> and then Lugia saves Ash, and he's like, knock it off! And he just like slaps him, and he's like, go Get in the hole! Go Mom said the no more, get out! Uh, no, like when we enter Hoopa oh, Unbound, shit. exiting the bottle and, and like mm. summoning everything, this enters full of like animated, like a fucking kaiju movie thing where like most of the Pokemon are like lit from the bottom. Yeah. A lot of them like it, it's so good. And the fact that it's like a night scene uh, in the oh city my God, is dude. like. The, the, they, they, the only thing I would have said better is if we got more shots of them like fighting and it was like a low shot so they looked yeah. even bigger. Right. I agree, yeah. But. The fact, like, you guys were right, but this is like, oh, yeah, it's a kaiju movie. Yeah. Like, this is 100%, yeah. like, just a thing where they're just beating up on each other. <laughs> and the, the, hoop, <laughs> the hoop and dealing with Lugan, and then yeah. people are like, fucking leave! It's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> um, I forget how, I think the three here, the Rayquaza and the Lottie. They come first, first. yeah, because yeah. um, Ash... So Ash is off against Hoopa Unbound. He's stupid smart in this movie. Right? He's really That's smart. That's in my notes. Like <laughs> Ash is actually like a really competent he's trainer really right now. He, yeah, because he because uh, he's like Hoopa. We're gonna need to be fast if we're gonna compete with something that strong. So then it summons like the three fastest legendaries. And then, uh, uh, I guess at the time, I don't know if there's anything uh, really fast. It could, it could, it could be argued. Yeah. Because, because Deoxys, game, game doesn't always translate to anime. Right. Yeah. I guess we seem to want to go with more box art. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. More box art legendary. Yeah. Those were the villains. Those three specifically were like, we're promoting Oris with yeah. Hoopa, so yeah. they're going to be the heroes. But and then the uh, bodies did. Yeah. They so, so yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. so uh, they, they summon all them, which the fucking, holy fuck, the summoning animations, dude. That's, what, the, I mean, that's, the, what, that's my favorite part. Yeah, the, the fucking shiny Rayquaza just like spiraling <laughs> out of the thing and just being like... <laughs> and the, the just fucking, fucking pops out of the ring yeah. and just fucking hyper-beam <laughs> right over his face. Uh, and um, then Big Hoopa being like, oh, okay, we're playing summoning oh. game. Yeah, and then we get the coolest fucking Joke's summonings. Joke's on you, I got six rings! <laughs> yeah, the coolest summonings of the whole fucking movie. Because uh, you get them like basically like, clawing their way out, yeah. and they're like corrupted by the fury and shit. It's so cool. Because we have <coughs> Kyurem. Is Kyurem first? He's uh, the Palkia. It's first. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna Kira. say they did win order of the generations. Yeah. Because that was oh, something. Because that, that was like a note I had. Like they started off with Lugia, so they went Gen two to Gen oh, three right, yeah. to Gen four and then five. So then yeah, if it was the Gen three Rayquaza and the Lottie, right. then it would have been Primal Ground and then, Primal Kyogre. Yeah, yeah, and then we see I, then after they Dialga show up, we sh we, we show. Uh, I thought it was Giratina first, and then Dialga and Palkia. Maybe the one with yeah. Because because I, I feel like they like, did Dialga and Palkia as a set, and then Giratina and Kyurem as a set because there wasn't. Yeah, uh, it could, cause, look, like I love the shot with Giratina, ju just like in general, because I just love the first thing you see is just the eyes glow, yeah, and yeah. that illuminated the rest of the I body as he was I would have loved to see it like Platinum when you encounter him and he does the comes out the portal with just like the black silhouette and the red eyes. Where right. Like, if the ring opened, it was just like, and then he like crawled out. Dude, mm. I wanted to see Grisius. Gris uh, <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it. Or origin mode is origin, yeah. I wanted to see that version. Obviously it's mirror dimensions, not how that works, but I would love to see that. Along with Ray Quiza and everybody else just switching forms out there. I think it would really fucking cool. Kiro stole the show for me. When I saw Kiro, like when I saw the Gen 4 people, I was like, okay, that's fucking hype. But mm -hmm. when I saw Kiro, like I said, I got fucking chills up. Because I never seen this movie. Ice tight, I get it. So I was like, oh, like he yeah. stole the show, the animation, everything. Like you said, the way that like the clawing and everything. Yeah. Oh, dude, it was so fucking. Does the game without the splicers, but I'll forgive it. Yeah. This is uh, Kyurem the way I want to see yeah. him, just fucking obliterating. Not everything. just beating up a unit. Not just like, hey, I'm training you, Vic kid. Vignana. It's the I'm going to fucking murder you if you're not careful. I like this Kyurem, not the Mr. Miyagi yeah. version. <laughs> Dra uh, uh, Dragon Ascent in this movie was fucking dope. When yeah. it just like spiral went straight and yeah. it just fucking clashed, it was so fucking cool. But yeah, the everything about it, Ash's like, we gotta evade, we gotta dodge this, we gotta dodge that. Fucking Palkia does the spatial ran and it just slices those two buildings in half. The best oh, it's ever God. looked. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just a, no just more bubblegum. Yeah, God, yeah, no I'm more bubblegum blast. So much. Dude, uh, everything about this fucking whole section of yeah. the movie is so this is like 20, 30, maybe 40 minutes. This was the best like, part of the movie. Yeah. yeah. Like this right here, it's. You know that scene in Civil War, the airport scene that yeah. I talked about? Mm -hmm. You don't remember this the, is the airport, yeah. This is the airport scene of 
Yeah. yeah. Well, this is Ring Ford. There's oh. one other thing I remember in Civil War. It's the fucking, fucking yeah. glove the uh, gun block, but... Yeah. You're, you're me. I was like, this is the Marine Four. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good, that's good. <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> um, yeah, so then they just start fucking... But like, this is, this is just Mew awesome. versus Mew. The yeah, first movie with the clones going against each other. Yeah, except Hoopa kind of just like... Except one hangs broken. back. Hoopa and Bow just hangs back. Like, I'm just gonna watch. Except for the man. part where he surrounds them with the rings and the oh, fucking yeah. fists that's just start Oh, fucking. that was cool. It was dope. The Bayonetta? The Bayonetta. <laughs> I said that. I was like, he's banging at a side smash. <laughs> I got, uh, I got... Well, that makes sense too. I was thinking of uh, the crystal ice, crystal ice mirrors. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> the, the the thing I think I enjoyed the most about this was it was Hoopa and Ash on the run, and then Hoopa and Bound is like, I'm gonna pull the strings. These are gonna go. They're gonna wear you down, and then when then after you're beaten up and you had and you're out of energy, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna I'm gonna get what I want. It really felt like like it was just Hoopa just pulling like the ultimate power play of you want to yeah. play big guns, boy, you better be ready. This this was another. Cool I might thing. be old, but say with your chest. There's another cool thing about the movie where the you didn't need to teach the mythical how to use its powers. Yeah, it knew it was very yes. well. I do love that. It was very used to using its powers and it was dope. And then when Ash is like, "Fuck, I can't do anything." Okay, just focus. All the fence on the tower, and the bottles what the, we need. Again, Ash being like a super competent trainer, like, yeah. dude, if you did this all the time, you would have beaten every fucking it, You league. would love the anime right now. The minute I probably would. The minute I heard right the minute now. I heard him being like, he's like, he's like, fuck it. He's like, Rekwai's a twister now. And I was yeah, like, Yeah, I was like, what? A twister? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. And then I, he's I like, have PTSD you psychic. I'm like, <laughs> I, like, I have PTSD when Ash said Rekwai's a used twister. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, at Ash, no. <laughs> no, no, no. But that, that fucking that cloud man, just and like reinforcing it with yeah, psychic. Yeah. I'm like, Ash, like, where the fuck is psychic. this? <laughs> Imagine Ray Quasso that I'm using Twister because I want to, not because yeah. you're yeah. First of all, you're not my trainer. I'm here to help Hoopa, so <clears throat> calm the fuck down. Great way, great way to show off Megas, by the way. Yeah. Oh. Is to be like three Megas my can only fight complaint, six other uh, My only ways. complaint is they just kind of mega evolve because they want yeah, to. Yeah. And I'm like, that's, that's kind of how all the right, yeah. but okay. Diancy. I can give that a pass with the myth Me the mythicals and legendaries. Me. That those are the only Pokemon I can because they have to rely on themselves and they have to be power and they should be that powerful to do that. Where like all the other Pokemon, like anything that's not legendary, having the stone and bonds of friendship, that makes a lot more sense for them. I could give a pass with the legendary. I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I could I could give a pass to Rayquaza. I'm not sure if I can give a pass just, to it's the Latios. I just hate, like, I just hate like, the thing so. that. Uh, wow. Mega Latios and Mega Latios <laughs> look exactly the same. So I put that in here. I, I, I kind of took like quick play by play of like what happened. Uh, all the villains show up, heroes show up, the dragon villains all dragon pulse, and then that's when all three Mega evolve. And then like the fucking chase starts. And there's a point where Groudon's like, I'll stop them. And he uses like lava plume or something. And as they dodge, his fucking bodies cure him instead. And, and like. They yeah. start going back and forth yeah. doing that then because like, they're later that Kiram's chasing them <laughs> yeah. and he uses ice beam keeps missing and as they fly by Groudon he just freezes Groudon in place. Yeah. And, like, I, do, I do. I do really like, like that, that the that. entirety yeah. of the fight where Ash is on the Latios, Latios, whatever you call them, Latios. Yeah. Um, Latios. Where, a where Ash is on the Lotties, uh, they're purely on defense. Yeah. Yes. And Rayquaza is like, yeah. I came here to fuck you up. Yeah. And he's like, I'm 100% offense, baby. I, I don't see the now, so someone's this. gotta pay. Right? Yeah. He's just going hard on everything that comes near them, yeah. and it is so cool. Uh, the, there is one like weird inconsistency, and it's when Kyogre can and can't fly. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> when he comes in, he's just like, ah. Yeah. And then sometimes he's like, oh wait, water? Okay. Ah. <laughs> ah. Why am the whale yeah. bird? I yeah. I must hydrate every twenty minutes. <laughs> I think it would have really been really cool because the we had the megas from the heroes side, mm -hmm. uh, but we only had uh, Kyurem transform. <clears throat> yeah. I think if at that point we would have seen the primals yeah. for Kyogre and Groudon come out too. Then turn into Primals. Then turn into Primals. That would have been really, really neat. Yeah. 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 I get that. But uh, I guess they they wanted to do that by wars? being like, what's that? Yeah. It's coming before Wars? A little bit. I, yeah, I think so. Uh, and I think it would have been leading into. Well, Hoop, say, Hoopa, Volcanion, and, and Magirna were I, I, I yes. think it came out during, during that well, lifespan. Is. Is. Because Magirna Hoopa has, was a distribution. If it wasn't never was it is It was around its release. Okay. Magirna. It was definitely meant to hype up. No, 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 no. It's like the same movie, isn't it? 
Oh, yes. Yeah. I, was, I was referring to the Pokemon. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Because yeah. yeah. I know Vol- there's such Volcan- a big thing in the Pokemon. Volcanion Pokemon's 6 yeah. and Magirna 7. <laughs> oh, okay. Gen was. Uh, I love it. Danny was like. I, I thought you were telling me, you're like, Pokemon. no, Magirna, the Pokeball skirt opens up Volcanion. <laughs> like, so what? I have a problem with the anti Magirna. They're like the same Magirna, Pokemon. Yeah. Um, like they, they are. are. Koopa, uh, Volcanion, all of these guys, I never know the gen. Even like. Uh, Sarah Aura, I struggle with their gen yeah, they because I always want to say I always overshot it by one gen. And it Dude, the weird mythicals that one oh. really high just kind of popped up at a distribution. You must love yeah, Meltan, yeah. who isn't a gen at all. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so for just quick clarification, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire released in 2014. Hukupa movie with the Japanese release released in July of 2015. Oh, okay. so, so so it's definitely the hype about yeah. Hoopa in the post game yeah. industry. Yeah. Distribution. Well, well, because yeah, Hoopa came out as a distribution, they yes. never mentioned him in the game. Was Mega? But they implied a lot with. Was the Shiny Mega and event. Is that why? I don't know. I feel Could like he might have been an event. Well, they did that, they did that event where they gave all the Shiny Mega and Rayquaza. Because that might be why they did Shiny Rayquaza. That was an event. Yeah. Who is the best design? Normally, the Shiny Legendaries are always events. I think so. Yeah, because those kids used to come in and ask for those piles of cards. Yeah. Just like leave. I took them all. Here. You want three? I have I have sixteen. I gave it to my college friends. <laughs> uh, that means I can summon three hundred. <laughs> I wanted I wanted amount. to give a shout out to Wabafet for. Oh my oh god! What? Yes! <laughs> what? <laughs> I wanted for, to, uh, dude, him just uh, just looking mirror code. Just <laughs> and, and everyone's just like pushing. Just that one. Mirror Wabafet Wabafet is the best that. Pokemon Team Rocket has ever owned. Period. That I mean, was I such that a good scared scene. the shit out of Guaranteed too. Yeah. It's like, it just, oh, no, that's coming back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Guaranteed's like, what up, bitch? Juan Fett's like, R- Uno reverse. And he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I learned that every once in a while. Wolf gets these good fucking moments. Yeah. Like, you know, there's in uh, Gen 7 where Beware goes fucking crazy. One of the Beware's go crazy, and Jesse and James like, wait to it, and you're not supposed to wait to him. Yeah. They thought it was theirs. And he started going crazy, and Wolf gets his counter. And he like punches it and he does the thing where he comes like this. And like, the 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 all all yeah. And then, like they hit him and they froze the frame and just <laughs> <laughs> and then, like broke every tree. And I was like, I constantly forget how amazing Wobble Fit actually because he I think it's like once a gen that they he yeah. does something yeah. badass. His bit's just to be the annoying one that pops out and then ah, everyone goes, ah. right, you do stuff. So I'm just saying this movie proved why Wobbuffet is called the Nuzlocke Ender. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying hundred uh, percent. I'm sorry, I we, I mean we all did Definitely did, but I definitely clipped the fuck out of your mic there. When yeah, we I got, I got a wall <laughs> All the yeah. lights went on, and <laughs> I was I want to give a shout out to Wobbuffet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was like, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, the, he's the unspoken MVP of the entire so movie. I don't remember how exactly it happens, but one of my favorite moments in this whole fight is Rayquaza's fucking shit up, and then Kyurem comes out of nowhere. And like, <laughs> 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 I think Rayquaza's fighting your Tina. Dude, Kyurem just no, that was, he's probably fighting Dialga or Pocky or somebody. Kiram comes in, I think, as white Kiram, tackles him into the water, and then like freezes the water, the freezes. water yeah. and they both come <laughs> crashing out. It's really cool. Yeah, the, the, all right, so the, like with that scene, like Rayquaza was flying down at Kiram, mm-hmm. wraps around him, and that's, continues flying, yeah. and that's when I like I lost my fucking mind because I'm like the space noodle did something. <laughs> the space noodle. So, so, so good. Because like I'm like he like I always was like why doesn't he just wrap around, just drag this bitch wherever and he. Did that, and then I like I like the collision, just the calmness, the ice over the water, and then just them ascending back yeah. up. That was I so lost my mind. This at whole part of the movie is like when you shit on the kid that goes and plays online with a whole team of legendaries. You're this like, is what fucking dumb. Yeah. This is the cool <laughs> version of a six v six. Well, now obviously not six v six, but two full teams of legendaries just yeah. fucking swinging at each other, like. This is pretty great. And then Hoopa's just like, fuck, I gotta be smart. Okay, portal through the storm. Yeah. And yeah, which I was a little confused because he, he put the portals in front of the legendaries. He's like, everybody scream into the portals. Yeah. And I'm gonna open up portals closer to them because the beams are stronger when they hit closer objects. Well, so he, he also put them around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he did, gonna, like, because they were all hitting him from one angle that right, I think yeah. the thought was like, oh, I'm gonna hit it from everywhere right. and then it's harder to deal with. Yeah. But uh, then he gets inside. But yeah, because because like, I was gonna mention that part because that's just like it, sh- it kind of shows like how smart Unbound Hoopa mm-hmm. is. Like okay, I'm just gonna hit from because like he might have thought like they were bolstering just like one right, section. Right, right, right. So he's like, I'm just gonna hit you from different sides and just <clears throat> you. Yeah. Uh, the only question I have out of that whole thing, uh, why didn't Groudon just use precipice blades to just 
fuck up just, that building. Just destroy the continent. Just hey, under me. Everybody was too high, and he just didn't think about it. He's like, Groudon is the Aquaman of Pokemon, where if you can go <laughs> up, you beat him. <laughs> I, put, I put this in the note at the end. I was like, after everyone's solved and everyone's not brainwashed anymore, I'm like, everybody flies home, <laughs> or Kyogre swims, or Groudon just like, I'm a bull. Oh, <laughs> which is, which, which is a uh, question for me, because if we're bringing up the whole time space uh, continuum thing, where'd they go? Why are they? Why didn't Hoopa just send them back? Like, right. Where are they going? Okay, so this, I'll, I'll give this as my argument for the plot. Real quick. Because when the world started to shatter, okay, okay, okay. I just like the idea that Grab is like, I guess I moved. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I guess I live here now. now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so they, they clear up the Hoopa unba- Okay, well, I guess that's probably important to go over first. Hoopa breaks through the, the twister. They get the new bottle, capture it, comes back out, but Hoopa kind of like, you know, we don't have to be Bites, enemy. I think it's through well, Ash. Yeah, takes Ash over takes it, gets possessed. Uh, and yeah. then Hoopa talks to him and yeah. shares his memories with Unbound Hoopa. That's right. Yeah. And, and, Hoopa, and then Unbound's like, oh my god, we have a happy life. I'm not angry about being trapped in a bottle for a hundred years or whatever. <laughs> Look at the picture of the sun. <laughs> this, this, uh, was, this was this was better. This, this we was, ate donuts. This, and he's like, this I was do pulled like off better. Donuts. This was pulled off better than Genesis. Yeah, yeah. Don't get me started on half the seismic toss and look at the sun, and then they're fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then after this is when like the whole dimension starts to shatter. Like, there's too many legendaries in the one space. So my mindset, because I didn't, I don't remember what happened. I'm watching this. I'm like, oh, well, Hoopa and Bow comes out and just sends everybody home. <coughs> but they don't do that. So <laughs> they just. So two of them can go. Three, four of them can do that themselves. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Giratina can do it. Pokey and Yaw can do it. And uh, just throw Kyogre back in the water. Rayquaza just flies <laughs> off. Four of the person I'm forgetting. But that was yeah. that was uh, the yeah, the Rayquaza, the Lotties, Groudon, Kyogre, Kiram. When uh, the just might be just three. When there. the Fury goes away, Kyogre is just like, oh, I can't fly. It's <laughs> 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 like <laughs> water. Yeah. He's, he's um, just like, oh. It just goes under. Splashes on a bridge like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he beats Guess I do. He, he's like, <laughs> and, then, and then you have the one trailer that's like, now. <laughs> and I was like, guess that I do. I'm like, yo, this is my chance. Guess I'm a ground type. Uh, um, did they, un, they didn't unprimal in this moment, did they? No, they, no. I, I, I agree with whatever Chris said. We're like, or whoever said, I'm, I don't know. Um, I, I don't remember things five minutes ago. Um, where... He just took them from like ancient history, and yeah. that's just that. Like, yeah, that's just us. Um, Overpowered. That's I will say this is, what, this is the main thing that made me think of the continuity because it was like, oh my god, space and time are disintegrating because Palkia and Dial are here. And I'm like, yeah, hey, it's like that Dark Ride movie. <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> But like they all start trying to attack the fucking decaying space, yeah. which yeah. I thought was cool. Which is a it's not, cool, but a it's not weird. smart thing from no. Ash, even yeah. though he's done all these smart yeah, things yeah. throughout this movie. He's burned down his attacks. brain cells. Yeah, he, he gets like ten to use he, that twister to get out of him. He yeah. becomes he's super like, saiyan uh, in IQ for like thirty yeah. minutes at a time. <laughs> he's like, I didn't think we'd live this long. Uh, oh, attack shit. it! <laughs> attack the wall! I tried to, I tried to punch something that could crumble me like an aluminum can. So, uh, uh, so back to the game of what if Ash. Tried to punch it. Let's talk about I'm, the game. I miss, I miss Ash trying to punch it. So, uh, the, this problem. next part is the most unbelievable part of the entire movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is unbelievable or believable? Unbelievable. Okay. Like, like, the most unrealistic, my immersion was ruined. When Hoopa opens up rings so everyone can get out and they all calmly in single file <laughs> walk out, I'm like, bull fucking shit. I think the only one that would have been calm just because like, after they capture Hoopa Unbound and everyone's like, Ash! We, and they rush to Ash, and just have people with Tosh just like, I wonder why I get to go home. <laughs> just up there. I am a child. You stole me from my family. I love it. And so just cut for it in the credits. I think they open the ring and just like, like, just like <laughs> yeah. it. it's almost in the sand. Um, but yeah, so then this is where like the weird like Hoopa learned his lesson, but did he really think so, happens? This so, th- Hoopa can't go through the ring, correct? Because it doesn't fully understand why its unbound form was captured in the first place. Correct. Like, what problems it caused. So they try and like jump through repeatedly, like, come on, I'll pull you with. I can't do it. I can't do it. So they do it one more time, and Hoopa yelled something. Hoopa yells, uh, Hoopa wants to stay for everyone or with everyone. Or something like that. 
Um, yeah. And I think I don't know how it translates. I don't know what it's what it is in Japanese. Um, but the way I see it, and it has nothing to do with what Hoopa said, but it has everything to do with what Hoopa learned to me, is that Hoopa in the past was like, I have these powers to make people love me, mm-hmm. versus I could use these powers to help people, which is what he learned uh, okay. with the guy. And I I think it. Well, I think the big thing was shoving or like trying to get Brazar out first and being like, no, I need to. But then he's like, I need to learn how to get this power so I can get him out because he's going to die. And uh, Hoopa wants to be with everybody. Yeah. So I think it was like, Hoopa doesn't want Brazar to die or Bazaar, Bazaar, whatever his name Baraz? is. Baraz? Yeah. Barazers. The thing is, I don't know if I flipped the R and the Z throughout typing this, so it could be either or. Yeah. Baraz sounds right. A lot. But, uh, yeah, I basically I think he's Yikes. like I don't want Big Brother to die, so Hoopa needs to learn this. What and then he's just like Hoopa's lesson. Hoopa <laughs> wants to save everybody. Yeah. So I think Hoopa's thing was like I could use these powers to help people versus I could use these powers to make people love and worship me. Yeah. So Hoopa I have here says Hoopa <clears throat> will stay with everyone. Yeah. And I know after they said he solves the issue, like you can go home to whatever the fuck the town or whatever. And Hooper's like, oh, I like, can't. The, the, uh, I have to stay here because I have things to Pokemon do. Pokemon Mister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mister yeah. Ash. Yeah, and he's like, oh yeah, no, I'm gonna rebuild this. Yeah. Which I, I have a yeah. whole city to rebuild. Yeah, and then, he, then he's thinking about like when the guy taught him how to like plant the seeds and all yeah. that stuff and like how to raise a city the arc that he ruined. Did you imagine? Yeah. yeah it's, arc, it's like the Arkal uh, Valley or something like yeah. that. Um, let's see. Hoopa saves the day. Happy. <laughs> Everyone goes to the portals. The ring like shrinks almost as small as it can before they get out, and Arceus is like, "Oh, I'm God!" And just like stops. <laughs> the fucking Pokemon clerics in this movie yeah. was like, and that was so jarring to me. Like these guys have like legitimate magic. This yeah. is this should be more shocking than any Pokemon you can run into in this world. Right. <laughs> um, Arceus descends, doesn't say where's Deimos. <laughs> gets so I was, honestly, I was waiting. If if any moment it would have been now, I thought they're gonna be like it's. Kids have their parents who are cousins to the girl from Arceus, who are then both you descendants Kevin? of Deimos. Not yeah. Kev- Kevin's a bitch. I thought about that. I'm like, you they're gonna be related to Deimos. I thought so. They're gonna be. I honestly they thought so. Where is Deimos? So, I... <laughs> Where is Deimos? I said this to Danny, I don't know if anybody else is listening to it yesterday. I was like, so like... If the other people were like the disciples of Jesus in like the whole Dark Rai mm. saga, right? That makes the guy who trapped Hoopa basically Muhammad, right? Of like the Muslim faith. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. Suppose, yeah. Like, like again, not exactly, but like, any terms of speaking, if you had to make a comparison between real world parallels, mm-hmm. that that's what that is. Yeah. Where it's like same God, different descendants, different teachings, different ways of living. But the same God, either way, it's just Arceus says another group of worshippers. What's up? I'm just a llama. I'm just a llama. <laughs> I'm a llama that llama. can fly. He's just um, like, you could choose all the things to wear around you. You choose my weird belly thing. Okay. <laughs> I have all these discs. You can I wear my discs. Oh, you could have yeah. been like a cool beanie that's like my head. Nope. Okay. Go with or the belly ring. Well, well, you know, like that's pointy hoods. <laughs> yeah, you know, Almost fair. White pointy hoods. Not sorry. Arcus <laughs> just shows up. He's like, hey, I need plates and Danny's going to get I still put on the table. We should call it Arcus. Arcus. Zeus. Zeus. Um... Yeah, Hoopa's like, I'm gonna stay, help rebuild the city. You guys go to your thing. Ash, good luck being a Pokemon <laughs> Mister. Um, it's like a fucking what? Oh, a Master. He's like, yeah, whatever it is. The Mister, Mister. We never know what that means, anyways. Pokemon Master. Yeah. It is weird because like, there's there aren't any parameters for it. Yeah. It's like nobody, nobody's ever been a Pokemon. Doesn't master. owning a Pokemon kind of make you a Pokemon, not a Pokemon master? master? Dude, it's like it's like in the same hat as like like uh, Mjolnir. It's what you Wait, make like, how do you define being worthy? Yeah, how do you true. define being a Pokemon Master? Well, well, like Odin defines that, it just doesn't <laughs> yeah. That's a Pokemon Master. We'll never know. We won't. I need a machine to pick up your... It just stands mm. for Gobstopper, that's why it's everlasting. <laughs> oh. You just gotta so all it. actually do is just that lick lock was so genius adventures. and they fucking dropped it. I yeah. was so mad. Big, big, big fuck up. Um, yeah, credits roll. Bunch of desert stuff. You know, Hippopotas goes home. Flops. Game. Did they get the donuts in the credits? Huh? Do they get the donuts in the credits? Uh, if they do, I don't They never them. got the donuts! <laughs> Fuck the donuts! That's um, because it wrecked the fucking donut shop. <laughs> Hoopa was like, oh, you want a donut That's what the donut was. That, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was the yeah. Donut shop. It was the donut enterprise. <laughs> the fucking <laughs> skyscraper. just like, Fuck your donuts! <laughs> 
Oh. America runs on Duncan! <laughs> <laughs> Thing. You know, real quick, because because uh, no, nobody mentioned this, but it's like when they were creating the bottle, when when Hoopa was like, they're using that little shit as a distraction, and then looks over and he's just like, they're fucking building a bottle. I destroyed that shit. I oh, did Joe, like yeah. that moment. Yeah. <laughs> and then Ash is like, fuck, they caught on. Defense. Shit, the guy. Okay, I actually do have a quick question about that. No. So it was really implied for a lot of the movie that where they were making the bottles at like the top of the tower. Am I wrong with that? But then it, the tower's destroyed and it's at the very bottom of the tower. As he broke it, the, the floor just fell. <laughs> 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 Safely, it was like kerplunk. The whole building was an elevator. <laughs> you could go to the top for the view, but you don't have to stay there. You could just, yeah, yeah. So the, the whole time they were fluctuating to confuse the <laughs> Where <laughs> are we? Ali Hoopa ring, you know? Um, Ali Hoopa ring. But yeah, I, so what did I say here? Uh, I was getting really greedy throughout the whole thing. I was like, yeah, just fucking more legendaries, baby. Give me yeah. Lugia back. Where's Ebeltsaw? Where's oh. Zygarde? Where are they at? Boy? Where the fuck is Ho-Oh? Yeah. That's what I just said! <laughs> That's what I'm oh, saying! Oh, Ho-Oh did have a movie. Did yeah. have a movie. So Fair. the director, well, the director that Not did yet. Mewtwo, uh, who uh, did the first movie, or the first couple movies, and then the, the first two seasons of the anime, said that uh, the uh, Pokemon Company, which is Nintendo, has mm -hmm. a strict rule of never using Mugi or Ho-Ho in a movie. Why? I don't know. It's, <clears throat> it's but they do. They the power of one, right? Yeah, they yeah, power of one's about. They eventually do, but this was during the first two seasons. Or sorry, no, I choose you. I choose you. This power is, of us is Lumia again. Gotcha. I, I, this I, during the this is uh, back around Gen three when he gave this uh, interview because he was only in charge of the original movie in the first two seasons. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's that's. I Maybe know. it's with Ash and like the legendary he saw on his first day, whatever. Maybe it's. I can only it's assume it's because but... like what it means when you see Hello. Yeah. Like, Lucky like I think it's heavily lore dependent. <laughs> He's also if they ever decide to end Pokemon, I'm sure it'll end with him seeing her. But then, I guess the movie kind of takes Ash, the, the wind out of the sails on that. Ash, you died but, that day you saw Hollow. Oh, this is all the after. Uh, Hollow oh, rivals well, Arceus. Hollow's lore it puts it as one of the strongest Pokemon lore Right, because right. it says it basically him just flying over something can yeah. singe it pretty much. Hmm. But then again, these Pokemon actually do exaggerate though. Mm -hmm. so. I feel like people see these legendaries and then they exaggerate them and then they tell people. And you know the game where you tell somebody something and they exaggerate by telling tell, you yeah, tell That's why Dumb like, can end the universe. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But that was, uh, that was Hoopa. So good. good flick. So Lived good. up to expectations. So I guess it's time <laughs> to rank <laughs> this movie. To and before we can rank them. Yeah, don't even say anything, number one. I, I can't do that. I have to read the list. It's tradition, Connor. I have to read the fucking list. Hit him with the sandwich. I have to read the list. I hate it. Oh, hit him with you. you. Hit me with the sandwich. <laughs> throw up on him. All right. Now we rank the movie, starting at the bottom. At number 18, we have Pokemon Black and White. Number 17, Mewtwo Returns. Number 16, Ranger in the Temple of the Sea. Number 15, 2000. Number 14, Forever. Number 13, Genesect and Legend Awaken. Number 12, Drachi Wishmaker. Number 11, Kira vs. the Soul of Justice. Number 10, Dianti and the Cocoon of Destruction. Number 9, Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. Number 8, Spell the Unknown. Number 7, Pokemon Heroes. Number 6, Zorark, Master of Illusions. Number 5, Arceus and the Jewel of Life. Number 4, Pokemon the First Movie. Number 3, Giratina and the Sky Warrior. Number 2, Destiny the Ox. And number one, Rise what the, of Dark. You're putting it, or you're just doing this? I'm just doing this. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, does oh, shit, you're climbing up though. <laughs> all the way up. Does anybody feel strongly about where they think this movie falls? Six. Six. At six. Six. Yeah, it goes right Heavy. Heavy. What's six right now? Because I'm looking six at Six is currently Zara. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. That's yeah. why I said that. That was that is that one I was trying to do. At six, it would land right <laughs> above Zara, right under RC. Yeah, this goes right under RC for me. Okay. I, uh, I can agree with that. Yeah. Which, by the way, remember how I said I was not as impressed? I didn't mean I didn't put like the movie. Arceus. I was just mm. not as impressed. Okay. Mm. Entertainment-wise, I might even put it above Arceus. I, I would I, personally put this above Arceus. 
I would. Pick, I don't get a consistent vote though, so I might I not have watching, input on this. I just. It's too late. You're here. Okay. I, well. <laughs> I would say it's either on par or right up. Damn. I would say it edges out Giratina for me personally. This I, movie was I way watch, more entertaining ooh, than I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree with the Giratina part. So I think the story is mo more coherent on this than it is with Giratina, which so, I think edges it out. I, as a, I mean, this is a better story. Yeah, it, it's movie. almost like the story though is really like. Hoopa bad boy need to figure out why he's bad, but summon a lot of big monsters to make it fun. I don't think has to compete with homeboy wants to steal the reverse world and used to destroy the real world and doesn't realize he's gonna fuck up the end. Like, I think there's a difference in capacity to the plot. Also, I, I get movie, that it's more cohesive. I, this movie, I hate I hate the, the Do X Machina plot, but this movie does it right. All right. Uh, yeah, usually like a lot of movies do it wrong. I actually think this movie did. Though. Mm -hmm. Basically, Hoopa was both the hero and the villain the whole time. I, Hoopa. I like, this is the weird, and we talk about it every podcast, mm -hmm. but I actually think that this is above certain things that are above us in our in the top of our list, but I don't think it's above things. I personally look at, I'm going to be outvoted. I know I'm, I'm going to be outvoted. Uh, <laughs> I like, I know but this I think that the fan service in this movie is really great. I personally would have liked a little bit more physical contact, and we don't sure, see sure. a lot of that in, sure. in, when it comes to yeah. with Pokemon fighting. It just seems like a lot of blasts. Shiny um, He fell tall and loogie. Just hand tangle. When it comes to, like, I think the, but I think overall, watching the movie in terms of the spectacle is fantastic. The story bits, to me, aren't as strong as some of the other stories that we have, especially, fuck, I'm going to bring it up. Uh, when, it comes, when, it, when it comes to three, when it comes to Pokemon, the movie three, and what I think is the message of that story, I don't think that's as strong as the message. There's, the not, message really, there's not really a message in this story. Kidnap children. Um, <laughs> wait, but I, I personally Connor's think, head. I personally think because of like all of its, the, all of its spectacle, it's actually better than Giratina. It's better than Arceus in that regard. Um, but I think its story, and I just personally don't care for Hoopa's comedy. Uh, okay. Isn't quite as strong as some of the other things we've seen. Sure. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up personally placing it low. But I can get lower than what you, you as long as I don't have Kanai yelling at me to guess. <laughs> I can get with the argument to go above Arceus. So of the the Sinnoh trilogy, Arceus. Uh, not to say that it's bad, but it's the lowest for me right. compared to Dark Rai and Giratina. Um, um, I <coughs> struggle to see it going above first movie. Even Dark though this is hype time. as fuck. Oh wow, that is so, fucking so Danny, high. Yeah. I think six is... So Danny, I, I, I think at the absolute minimum, I think six is is like the lowest it should go. I think it definitely I goes much lower. I would not put it in yeah. the top three. I think it would be our new... What? The highest would be new number four. So I... And as, as hard as I fought for... Well, I, again, I... I don't consider what I said fighting for Destiny Deoxys. <laughs> I like this more than I like Destiny Deoxys. Mm. I would be okay anywhere between. I don't think that it beats out first movie, and I definitely don't think it beats out Darkrai, just because Darkrai from start to finish <coughs> is just so fucking good. Yeah. I'm going first, still really high. It's yeah, second. It's number four. four. Oh, it's four. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Four. I don't, the only reason I'm. What's thinking? number two? Destiny Deoxys. 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 Oh, right, so it's Dark, Dark Ride, Ride Deoxys, Deoxys, Giratina. Giratina, okay. So this is where it's weird. Yeah, I would. I would put this above Destiny, but I wouldn't put it above Giratina. Or I would give it three. Or the first movie. Yeah. So personally, I would put it in third place. <clears throat> if I if I had to choose, it would be, I would replace Zorark. And yeah. I am, I'm, I'm in that five, six range. If it knocked down Zorark, or if it knocked down Arceus, I'd As I would say, of the movies I've watched for this, I would put this above Arceus. I would be <clears throat> more. Yeah. I would be more inclined to watch this again over Arceus. Right. Because like Arceus has like a long drought of just it, dry, it, and then yeah. this one like. And this is like constant up. boom, boom, boom. But it, Arceus it has it's Kevin. And it Arceus has Kevin. Most, <laughs> and the Damn. worst voice casting in Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. It beats out like Janitor Joe, but it's got Lava Lima B. <laughs> Yeah, this, that's why it's worse. He's a llama hey. bean pest. <laughs> I mean, if Deoxys is two, I would put this on two. Spicy lima bean pest. I, I, I would oh. put it above Deoxys, but I wouldn't put it above RCS in the first movie, which is where, because the way we have our list, it's, yeah. we're getting at the point now where like, yeah. these decisions are hard. Which I know Danny said the <clears throat> other week when I wasn't here, uh, I think it is important to just, with the standing of the list, we have to... Go through with kind of just decide in our head that even though we personally don't think this, we collectively had decided that quote 
this movie is worse than the ones above. <laughs> Correct. Um, or better. So I guess realistically we throw out the window and be like, yes, I do like three better than anything above it, but because the list stands, three is below everything else. So then what is the top one that I'm like, this new movie oh, well, is better voting, than this. If we're voting right. that way, then my hand stays up pretty damn high. Pretty damn high. Yeah. For, for, for pretty far. Uh, I haven't been voting like that, but if we should be sure. voting like that. I guess, I, I guess it wasn't like concrete, that was the rule, but I, I guess it's it comes troublesome where it's like, I like it better than this, but not this. And I think once we get to the point of like, everyone make your own list and see where it all changed yeah. and see where everything fell and what that did differently. Um, I think our lists are going to be very fucking interesting. Yeah. 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 When we go through it. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Actually, very I, I, hey, I just want to say it for I'm out very there, excited. But while you're right. safe, when Danny pitched this idea, I said, are you going to have like, a grading system and average it out so that way it's all consistent. He was like, now nah, we're just gonna raise your hands. I was <laughs> like, okay, so man, good him, luck with that. I pitched to him that we should have done a plot, Pokemon, and uh, something else. We're like, on like episode well, five already. It was too yeah, late. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, we should do like different criteria yeah. and then put the score together and yeah. that will base it on that. Yeah, I think it's average it. Yeah. I, I, I think that definitely, even if at episode five, like that was, like we brought it up and wanted to change it up a bit. Um, I think the cast changing so much we're like we could do a score one to five on five different categories But the moment I add a fifth person <laughs> right and a sixth person yeah. and then the next week's only four of us and then say a week comes where only three of us made Fair. it and that whole thing doesn't Balance out. Yeah. I think if it was five of us six of us from start to finish and those numbers would be consistent yeah. from the same pool it probably would have worked because um, I learned that there's certain movies that Plot wise, they're way oh, better oh, oh. than the other ones. Yeah. But Pokemon wise, there's That's movies. That's got a really good idea. There's movies. Oh, no, you killed the party. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> and you have movies that, like, Pokemon wise, they're untouched. Sure. So, like, it's weird because, like, with this movie, just I didn't care for the Kaiju go. battles. It's the fucking summoning and all that badass shit that was going on. Yeah. That was what sold this movie for me. And uh, seeing it for the first time, I'm like, holy shit, this feels like I'm watching a Gen 4 movie all over yeah. again. Anyway, let's raise some hands. All right, cool. Hands up. Uh, we'll start somewhere in here. So, does it go? <laughs> Damn, Dante's not even bothered. I, 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 I'm trying to. If, if, if we're Dante's like I said, collectively bottom. saying this movie is better than the other movie, then I like I have to change how how I'm voting. Sure. So. Um. So above spell the unknown. So number eight. Yeah. Above. Not personally, but sure. <laughs> For sake of that. As a as a collective. Uh, above heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this hurts. <laughs> above Zorark. Damn, this hurts. It continues. <laughs> above Arceus. Yeah, I don't. I just don't see it being the plot for Arceus is way better than this one. Oh wait, no, wait. I wanted mm. above Arceus. Wait, I'm sorry. Oh, I fucked up. I'm sorry. I We're not plot? on the same hat. The plot. Yeah. The plot for this one was it was okay. ex machina the whole time. It, it just I mean, I don't, right, so I don't even like the I don't even like the plot of Hoopa, but I, I think the the fan service outweighs the plot. But the fan of service, I'm looking at this. Fan off service doesn't mean, mean fan service doesn't fair. mean the movie's fair. good. Like I, I enjoy yeah. I enjoy. I, but, I am looking at but not even, but fan service made me <coughs> made me entertained by it. So that's fair. That's a hundred percent. Like if, that's we're if we're talking about which I would rather watch, I would rather watch this movie over Arceus. I just want to whether movie's good. I'm like right here is where I'm like that's like right. so I'm the, the, this, I'm is, like, this is where I'm questioning. I'm like right okay. here if if I mean if I put my hand down now it's still at least above Arceus, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah so above Arceus, <laughs> above first movie. Oh, I don't know if it's both. Uh, Hey, same hat. Damn. Yeah, I've been agreeing. I've been agreeing with this the is, top this five. Is I'm a traitor again. No, I'm kidding. This is the weird thing because <laughs> I, the think, last... I think this is better than certain movies above the first movie, but I don't think this is better than the for first. For the last five movies, um, I've been I've been agreeing with the top five, yeah. or even the top ten, and then now this is the first time I'm like, ah. we uh, well, it, we it, have six at this people. Point, yep. Um, at this point, it's two. Oh wait, it's, no, I'm sorry. so it's is this where it stops then? I think before. Is that how this works of a tie? I think before when we well, had a tie, go one more. we, go we one went more. until there was yeah, an uneven amount. Okay, go so more. then, because uh, if you go up currently at above first movie. Okay, so you guys think it's better than the first movie? Right? So it's number four, above Giratina. Is it above Giratina? Do you no, think it's no, above no, Giratina? I, I think, given the list, I like it dra Hoopa drastically more than the first movie. Mm -hmm. It did a lot more to keep me entertained. Giratina <laughs> is just. 
personal bias, then that's like my well, favorite Pokemon. Technically movie. speaking, though, it keeps going because if we're all three of us are out, then there's three. The heat. Well, it would end. It's two now, out of six. It's two out of six. Though. Now, yeah. it's no, it's now no it's four to two, so this is where. It would right end. now, it's majority. Yeah. yeah. So, so where, I, where above would, Deoxys. I'm curious now, where would you two put it? Above. I would put Darkrai. it. I would put it over okay. Deoxys, but I wouldn't put it over Darkrai. So yeah, you would put it in number two for you guys. For us, yeah. In that. Okay. Okay. This, well, but this is but this is talking collective in terms of personal opinion. Interested. I don't think it's that high. I'm very interested. <laughs> this is a tough watch. world. <laughs> Where would say. you put it on your personal list? Um, Number five. That 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 that, that would mean, mean having to explain my whole personal list. <laughs> but, <laughs> All right. So but, I mean, like, if, 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 I'm, if I was Pokemon voting, if I was voting off of this without thinking of the churches, I would put it over Diancie under the Okay. I'm really interested in what you guys think about okay. the Dark World being on your voting system. <laughs> I hate the Dark half. World. It's a fair amount of Interesting. I, I, definitely, love I, mean, I love how I made the comment like, <coughs> way, way, way earlier on that Jirachi was going to be a middle ground movie for me. <laughs> and the more I watch these movies, Jirachi is just dropping. Jirachi's number 13. <laughs> it's below the half. Wow. I'm, uh, I'm not shocked with that one. I think if anything, I'm shocked it's above first movie. Not so much that it's high. That's where I'm at. Yeah, I mean, I'll put, it, I'll put it. I'll put it and then after I that. But I also do agree this goes above the first movie. I actually don't right. think the first movie is good. I think that it's a nostalgia. Nah, thing. dude. Yeah, sure. The, the song in the first movie alone carries it. I, <laughs> I, I, but I, I personally like the message of the first movie. But I also want to put this but I, I have to think. I have to think of the. If we're talking about the collective, yeah. it's better than the first. Movie. Yeah, I would put this above De Giratina or Destiny. Would it? it? No. Okay. Yeah, because because I, I was in the boat where I'm like I would watch Hoopa <clears throat> again over the first movie any day, yeah, but Giratina, sure. like I just yeah. that's my I couldn't do that. Banger. Couldn't do it. I'm surprised you said that with how much you absolutely despised Shaman. Because <laughs> like I would I watch RCS. I would watch RCS over. Uh, yeah, I watch RCS over this. I wouldn't watch the first movie. I wouldn't watch Giratina. Because, like, as much as I hate Sh Shaman, that's just, like, <clears throat> one aspect of the movie. I like the majority of everything else going around it. I can I can tune Shaman out. Sure. Fair enough. And then, like, it's, it, Giratina just carried. Like, his back had... Like, I'm glad he was a noodle, because his back would be yeah. hurting from carrying that movie. For those watching at home, the thunderstorms are kicking in. It might be outside your window, but for us, it's right now. Uh, but... With that placement set in stone, it's time to recap where we stand. Number 19, Ooh. Pokemon Black and White. 18, Mewtwo Returns. 17, <coughs> Ranger of the Temple of the Sea. 16, 2000. 15, Forever. 14, Genesect. 13, Jirachi. 12, Kiram. 11, Diancie. 10, Lucario. 9, Spell the Unknown. 8, Heroes. 7, Zarark. 6, Arceus. 5, First Movie. 4, Hoopa. 3, Giratina. 2, Deoxys. And number 1, Rise of Darkrai. Man, this list fill my fuck out, dog. Man, this list hurts. How many me. more do we have left? <laughs> this list Six. hurts me. That's it. Six left? Let me double check. I'm gonna yeah, say where is Detective Pikachu? If I'm being honest, I, uh, I think it's soon. after the two reboot movies. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna call it a movie should be announced within the next two months. Sure. Because they, where Journeys is at, they're taking a break. And usually they're in the second break of the animates when they introduce the movie. Because the the break always comes back and starts with a trailer. Does Coco they, have an English release now? No. Like, oh, I see. We were talking no, about I'm that honest. in uh, the podcast today. That's <clears> what is no, Coco? not yet. Uh, it was uh, supposed to be July, so, but it got pushed back. Uh, uh, Secret of the Jungle. The kid's name is Coco. Oh. So it's called. People call it Coco. Um, yeah. So there should be another movie announced soon because they've been doing Jeez. this since the second. Yeah. Movie. So is um, Ash not the main character? So what's that? Is Ash not the main? Character? Ash. Is, the Coco's like the. Not Remember the episode it. back in like Gen 1 <laughs> where the Kangaskhan kid got lost from his family? Mm -hmm. It's basically that, but instead of Kangaskhan, it's Zaru. Okay. Yeah. Um, With a pink scarf. With a scarf, yes. So, after Hoopa, we've got Volcanion and the Mechanical Marvel. Mm -hmm. Pokemon, I choose you. Oh, Pokemon. so we are getting close. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Pokemon, the power of us. Then I think it should be Detective Pikachu again. And then it's Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution, which I'm not Are excited Are we watching for. that? Yeah. Okay. The and then Secrets Pikachu. of the Jungle. No, 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 I'm very excited for that. It's, so uh, six left. It's uh, uh, Evolution. Yeah. I watched it and I was like, ah, yeah. I should have taken my money. I think it'll be interesting to, I, yeah, I'll wait till it's on Netflix yeah. yeah. So. Um, did you watch it and were like, eh, I could have done something else. I, I made a whole other <laughs> page about it, which YouTube took down because 
Nintendo. Um, yeah. But yeah, I basically compared them. I, I enjoyed it enough <clears throat> to get by, but did you I think at the end of the day, I would much rather watch the original. Did you watch I Should See You? What's that? Did you watch I Should See You? Yeah, I've seen Did you see the ending? Did you like that? I won't say anything because I'm going to see it. <laughs> I think we all kind of know what happens. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Roughly. The end. The ending. I love you, Ash. Okay, I think that's like a midpoint thing, isn't it? I don't remember. I think so. Okay. Because they end with well, we'll talk about that yeah. in two weeks. But um, that movie might be down there. Oh, I thought you were, that movie might be number one. No, 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 no. That movie might be there in the black and white region, might if I remember. It. Yikes! I mean, I'm sure Chris will rank it high because <laughs> Cinero is a big part of that movie, but. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> can. it's a retelling essentially. Sure. But um yeah, hey, you know what else is cool with the ranking? Poll challenges! Every week when you watch a movie, we look at all the Pokemon that existed in this film, and trust me, there's plenty this week. Um we all choose one which goes into a poll that we post on the <clears throat> CG Danny B Discord. I'll set all the reactions, you guys vote, and at the end of the week we decide a winner. Whoever at the end, honestly, I, I we're so close to the end, I haven't decided like what the winner gets if it's a physical thing, if it's bragging rights, kissing a kiss from all the other members. Just do it. Kiss from I, I was in GameStop the other day and they had the the big like two foot tall Pikachu pop for like a uh-huh. hundred bucks. I'm like, <clears throat> do I do that? Mm-hmm. Do I do that? Because I was like, then if I went, I'm like, I don't know if I want the Pikachu pop. If I you want to give to somebody else. I, I feel like everybody would look at it and be like, where the fuck am I putting it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got one that Christmas. would be the one pop yeah. I would open. Yeah, man, when I, when I win, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> I got one for Christmas and I put it in my garage. I got the Batman one. Somebody bought it for me and it's in my garage. Because I'm yeah. like, I don't fucking want to put, put it. The, yeah. It's too big to put on a shelf. Yeah. And it's right because it's not even like a normal pop box. It's a big cardboard box. And there's no window. Yep. So, like, there's no, you have to actually open it to see it at all. It's, I did probably put it somewhere, but I'd be like, what yeah. the fuck? It'd be one I'm like, I don't mind having this, but like, it'll probably sit in the corner on the floor. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, buddy, I forgot to throw that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll we'll, put them in my extra computer chair. We'll figure something out. Let us know in the comments what we'll the prize not that you guys comment on this anyway. Anyway, poll challenge this Pokemon week with Hoopa, the person most excited to pick first in all time. Connor. Yeah. Mm. Chris. Hoopa. Ho- yeah? Hoopa. Unbound or? Which Hoopa? I like the little dude. Right, he, 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 he Are the forms I, different? I, I loved him. Um, I, I will count them as separate for this. What about the peak and Libre and all that stuff? <laughs> no. Those are Pikachu's off the table. Fucking yeah. Chris, not even there anymore. anymore. Yeah, I took him out. Pikachu's gone. What a chaos. Cost. Pikachu's dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Chris ate him. So, so like ultimately, like like ben, like when the movie was first coming out, I saw Hoopa like. Like I, like I, like I immediately was like, I'm gonna break my rule again. I'm using, the, I'm gonna use this fucking legendary, yeah. and I did for like a large majority of time. And I, Hoopa is just like one of my like top five favorites. I feel you. Okay. Cool. Jonathan. I think you guys know. Well, shame it. Dialga. Yeah. <laughs> maybe not this time really maybe. Kieran. Yeah. I, I, I thought about Kieran, but with how much you really liked his scenes, I, I thought you would have. Yeah. yeah. And because the rotation is John's at the end, Connor! He was also my starter the other day for a Y'all missed out on the best legendary in this whole fucking movie, you idiots. Wobbuffet. I knew it. I knew I it. gotta <laughs> show up and make the meme picks. Come on, man. That's what Dante did. Wobbuffet cool. fucking carried this. Don't even. His, like, That's what six seconds of animation. And then you took my frat. They, they, they used a mirror coat. It's, like, it's it perfect. the best. I just want to think previously. Just make your ninja. Previously, on if, if God Watch Them All. I could Frogadier. grab Frogadier, but there's too many legendaries for me to do that. If. I mean, you have Wobbuffet, so. Sure, sure, sure. Too many you're, de- you're, de- you're dealing with. You're dealing with. Oh, one person have Wobbuffet. You're dealing with an S tier. Right. So, previously, when we've had a Pokemon of another form, does anyone recall how we handled that? Do, do I pick that? Are you asking for Unbound Hoopa? If I take shiny Rayquaza, oh. shiny Mega So Rayquaza. I, a couple episodes ago, there was a Pokemon that I chose, and I can't remember what the logic was. Baby there, I know you picked Baby Nidoqueen at one point. That, that's, was that what it was? That was a while ago. I don't think that was that one. It was something to be else. Fair, I where I picked something, I said, does it count because of this? Plus said, I think in Zoroark, he picks like, the shiny and uh, the shiny Rayquaza. I picked yeah, yeah, shiny yeah. Rayquaza. Yeah, so we did that. So I could pick shiny Rayquaza. Well, I mean, we're going to see how much shows up in the movie. I, I guess I, I was more so on the Mega. I consider Megas to kind of be their own thing. Yeah. 
So I, either way, I'm taking that particular Pokemon. So I'm taking <coughs> Mega Shiny Rayquaza, or am I taking Shiny Rayquaza? I'll do Mega. I think you can do either. I guess I'm leaving it either up either to whatever, you. Either whatever, whatever you want to put on. I don't think it matters. You should do Mega when, Shiny. When, 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 when you I'll click on the Pokedex, the uh, Mega isn't like its own. Like it's tied in with well, John, the, the ultimate play like, clause. So like you, like you have to yeah, just alternate it. If you're if you're allowing Hoopa to be picked both yeah. unbound and con I think yeah, 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 yeah. and you can yeah, 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 yeah. It's, just, it's just a form. The thing is, I'll just think like I would allow because the Hoopa exists as two figures in this movie. <laughs> oh, okay, but you're saying I would do that. I feel like if I picked Shiny Mega and then Dante said I want Shiny Regular, I'm not going. I, right, but hypothetically, I would say that is the same Pokemon. I would, I would, Hoopa's yeah, split. I would say that that is the same. If you pick Rayquaza, even whatever form it is, yeah. I would it say would if I picked be... Rayquaza, no one else would get Rayquaza. Yeah. But right. if somebody wanted Hoopa Unbound, yeah, that's, yeah they that sounds that. fine to me. Um, fuck it, yeah, I'm gonna go with three. I'm gonna go Kyogre. <laughs> <laughs> Rick that, it, honestly, that surprised me. I, yeah, I, I, didn't thought, go I thought you were going to pick Kyogre because he has substantially more Listen, screen time than the movie you picked. I up. love Kyogre. <laughs> and he's blue. I know the fan. And I, exactly. Not even Lugia. <laughs> Listen, Kyogre is my favorite. Lugia is my second favorite. I've realized that the fans that vote on my Discord that don't watch they the movie. They just look at the picture. They, they just the grab the dirt crap <clears throat> over anything else on the screen. <laughs> You know, that's, it doesn't matter. I have to you, pick Papa. the blue one. So, Bug. Shiny Mega Rayquaza. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> I, I think the Dirt Crab. Yeah. Dante. Um, there's really not, uh, aside from like Hippopotas, there's not really a whole lot of like mean Pokemon. Oh, well, um, that's all right. That was plus or minus. I said, can I pick both? Yes. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at the poll list. Right, if so. that's the case, since we are going. <clears throat> It, since it is Hoopa, we gotta go big. I'm probably gonna go with Lugia. Okay. Go with that Lugia. Is that, really? is that the whole bit? Are we all just picking legendaries? I main just cast? Connor pick one. You know, whoever you want. No, you no, pick a no, legendary. Yeah, moment. we are. I did pick a legendary. You pick a legendary <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. He picked the Nuzlocke. Oh, right? you? He's oh, you man. Yeah, dude. He could he could body any of the legendaries <laughs> in this movie. You can pick Dedenne. Arceus. Dedenne's a movie, right? Miracle. Oh, um, if he is, it's just to look like a chicken nugget and go like. Did it? Did it? Just wing all at the beginning. Can you know? Oh boy, <laughs> there's also a braviary. There is a braviary. That, yeah. That's good. Uh, Your choice. Braviary that got bodied. That braviary did get fucked. It did. It did get. He kept picking up to the people like, yo, he got body, bro. Ew, <laughs> <laughs> America, fuck. America. <laughs> Runs on Duncan. Um, I, I think I, I think I'm gonna go hippo uh, hippo pa, 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 pa. Uh Can I change my answer to just Reggie Gigas's voice? Reggie Gigas, don't get him, don't. I want the Wobbuffet, Rig but if I can just get his voice, <laughs> Wobbuffet with Reggie Gigas. You're just gonna see all these big Reggie motherfuckers Gigi. and just a little sand hippo. Have you, ever watched, have you ever watched the anime when they did the Wobbuffet Festival? There's uh, Jesse and James went to this. Uh, they were the main characters for this particular episode. They went to this town to you know do their fuckery, mm -hmm. and then it turns out there's a Wobbuffet festival, and there's literally Wobbuffets everywhere. But their Wobbuffet was like the fucking chosen one. And for some reason, <laughs> all the other Wobbuffets were like bending down to him and everything. That was pretty neat. That's yeah. awesome. Honestly, Honestly too. I want to <laughs> see some kick-ass fan art of this. I want dark room, one like single light shining down. I want like. <laughs> fucking hoop was Hoopa can find so it's a, but Hoopa, Dialga, Rayquaza, just evil <coughs> eyes, Lugia, and just in the middle is just Hippopotasla. <laughs> <laughs> just like one oh. sandy boy. And and but, 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 I love the Wobba fan down in the middle, just like hulking out, like with arms, like <laughs> buff ass, <laughs> yeah, the champ yeah. arms. <laughs> yeah, just like overdo it, just like yeah. I want that shit. And a Kunkelder nose. <laughs> <laughs> but as we go through with this next week's poll challenge, uh, the picks are once again Chris with Hoopa <clears throat> Can Find, John with Dialga, Connor with Wobbuffet, myself with the Shiny <clears throat> Mega Rayquaza, Dante with Lugia, and Kanai with Hippo Patas. That's a good choice, Dante. Absolutely. That's a good Pokemon, too. Lugia's a good one. If, if he, he would have picked Hippo Patas, I was going to pick Papaldon. That was, that, was, <laughs> that was almost my choice. <laughs> Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to go vote, the Discord link is in the description below. There's a whole channel. All you have to do is hit the react of the Pokemon you want to pick. Only pick one. Poyo, you only pick one. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be tied the votes for the next episode. Um, I post results on social media. Sometimes we fall behind on the show. So, social media, CGNAB, Instagram. Follow me there and get the results. But, Twitter. Well, thank you guys. Twitter is, uh, yeah, I post on Twitter too. You just Instagram the most guys better. Uh, but, 
Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I know this is all the most exciting. Connor, it was nice having you. Thank you. Uh, and now sure every you movie's a disappointment. Uh, <laughs> unless I need to fill in. No. Actually, I heard you guys said Volcanion's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I like Volcanion. I, I hear, I hear good things about yeah. it. I think I, I hyped up remembering so, wrong that Diancie had all the Megas. It's Volcanion that has so like, all the Megas. It is really, really funny because now that I'm like looking at which movies Hulu has, mm -hmm. Hulu has like all of the ones we like. And yeah. then all the ones we don't like, uh, like, it's like somebody at Hulu was just like, that movie's really bad, don't fuck yeah. <laughs> The, the, no exception, like the exception is Gen 4, but I feel like it's because they like couldn't afford Gen 4. Yeah. They're just like, give us Hoopa. Give us Hoopa. We'll take Hoopa. Uh, um, yeah, next week we'll be watching Pokemon Volcanion and the Mechanical Marvel. Um, that's going to be a great one. I pick <laughs> second. Okay. Second if Connor doesn't show up. Sweet. Connor's not invited. Unless Connor wants to come. You want to watch Volcania? Not really. He looks stupid. All right, cool. Whoa! He does. Hose dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> that just proved my point. Water hose cat. Anyway. That uh, proved it more. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please do me a favor. Hit that <laughs> thumbs up. It helps for the videos more people get to see it. And if it's your first time check out the content and you want to stick around and see some more, do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you get notifications every time a new video comes out. And I'll see you guys next time.